Hello, everybody. Give me a two when you can hear me, okay? Give me a two when you can hear me, okay? We're going to hop right into this today. Um, right now, I'm actually working. I am um, packing orders, creating a couple of new blends. Hey, okay, I'm so glad you can all hear me. But in the midst of this, though, I really want to show y'all something, right? Because tell me how many of you are used to seeing new products come out every five minutes you are constantly seeing new products every time you turn on youtube you see a new product and i told you guys last year right moving into um when we were moving into 2023 so actually not even just a couple of days ago, moving into 2023, when we were still in 2022, I told y'all that we were, hey, <laughs> um, I told you guys that we were going to start seeing a whole bunch of people copy Curl Smith, right? I told y'all we were going to see a whole bunch of people, not copy Curl Smith, copying Olaplex. One of the first people who came to copy Olaplex was Curl Smith. And then after Curl Smith came, remember everybody was going all over YouTube like, Curl Smith is better than Olaplex. Curl Smith is about to replace Olaplex. And then remember it was K19. K19 is about to replace Olaplex and all of this different stuff. I don't really want to get into that today because you're not going to like what I have to say. I love y'all so much, but I feel like y'all be trying to set me up. Like, y'all be trying to set me up. You know how I feel about natural hairstylists. You just want me to say it so it'll start controversy. You, you know what I think about it. You know what I think. So... <laughs> We said, like I said, Curl Smith came, then we had Reckon, and the Bond Wars are going on. But before I move on, and before I share the screen with you to talk about the thing on topic today, hey, I need you to tell me if whether or not you remember what I said in 2022, how we were just going to see an outrageous amount of copies, and they knew that based on what Pro, what uh people you guys were following or what people you were subscribed to things will go viral so pay attention to the next viral fad let's get into it hold on let me share the screen with you because i this is first of all let me just say this i'm not saying this like in a negative tone or anything like that but what this say listen Y'all, hold on. Let me get ready to share the screen with you. Because this is the thing. We are so worried and so pressed about other things. We're worried about the wrong stuff. And we are looking at each other as the victim. But what you, I mean, as the enemy. But who you really need to be paying attention to is who you're spending your money with. Do you hear me? Let me make, let me take this off the screen for a second. So you can see this big. Like, listen, Shea Moisture and everybody else haven't been concerned about Bond nothing. The second that YouTubers started to be like, okay, Olaplex, maybe there is something to it. They jumped on Olaplex 3, but without the proper education on Olaplex, I have videos giving you the information. So don't worry if you don't know. But without the proper information or without the proper education, you don't really even understand what bonds are and how they work and what products should be used to repair bonds. It's, nobody knew anything about that. But Olaplex has been out like for years, for well over a decade. And when we first came out, when professional cosmetologists first started talking about Olaplex, it was like, that's for white girls or that's for color. And that's not for black girls hair. That's not for black girls hair because black girls, black girls, they can't wear, they don't have products for us. They've always had products for us. The Olaplex and all of these other products have, that have been out have always been for us. And they made up things using all of these products with oils and all of these butters because it led to massive scalp infections. So notice that 
Shea Moisture and all of these different brands, they don't stick to one thing. They're jumping from product to product to product, from collection to collection to collection, because they're doing these collections based on what's viral, based on what is hitting the top of the algorithm. So whatever is hitting the top of the algorithm is going to filter out the next product that's coming. When apple cider vinegar was the product, then Shea Moisture had an apple cider vinegar product. Give me a one. When I'm lying, give me a one when I'm lying. When apple cider vinegar came out, apple, uh, Shea Moisture had an apple cider vinegar product. They had a rice water product. Every different thing that has went viral on social media, Shea Moisture has came through. And not just Shea Moisture, the rest of y'all team natural products. They play in y'all in y'all face. And this has always happened. But it is only now today that it has happened so many times that nobody can ignore it. Because at this point, if you guys are ignoring this, it's on you and you deserve to get played. Shea Moisture has been out for years. And Olaplex has been out longer than Shea Moisture is. The bonds and the hair have always been the most important thing. If these brands are were really concerned about your hair, Shea Moisture would have started with this, but they didn't. They started off following the market. They started off following the money. And at the beginning, the money was in oils. It was in butters. It was in apple cider vinegar. It was in rice water. That's why all y'all favorite YouTubers constantly made videos about it because that's where the money was. That's where the money was. I have always been teaching y'all the science of hair. I have always been teaching y'all about bonds. Always. I'm not saying nothing new. I'm not saying nothing new. Listen, Shea Moisture, Shea Moisture, even the, even the name of the product is a play on words. It, even the name of the product is a play on words. Shea, Shea Butter, baby. Shea Moisture. Oh, we you black people, we use shea butter and we need moisture in our hair because black women don't have moisture. It's all been, it's all been to play you. And this, I, what did I say? My real OGs, give me a five. If you remember in 2022, I told y'all that by 2024, that by 2024, they will have this. And I need y'all to understand, there is no comparison between K9, K18 and Olaplex. K19 or K18, whatever, and Olaplex are owned by the same parent company. They have the same exact investors. Olaplex is number one. K18 falls under Olaplex. K18 cannot do everything Olaplex can do. K18 does not start working until after the damage is already done, whereas Olaplex's molecule doubles itself before the product starts working. Okay, Olaplex works faster than the relaxer can activate. Olaplex works faster than the actual product can activate and pull anything from the hair. It's not the same thing. K18 is something that you use on the hair afterwards. And K18 is not even, it doesn't even have a small enough molecular weight to penetrate products. You cannot use K18 on top of products, on top of a hair shaft that has products on it. If it does, it won't work at all. There are two completely different products. I'm not trying to be rude, but again, it's more team natural stuff. Y'all have to stop comparing products. Olaplex and K18 are owned by the same parent company. Go research it for yourself, okay? So Shea Moisture, Bond Repair. Let, let's get into it. What are we talking about? If y'all do not see the manipulation in this, then... Y'all are going to be manipulated and nothing I can say. There's nothing that anybody can say to to help y'all. Nothing. And I'm not trying to be rude. We just having a real conversation. Shea Moisture has been out for a really long time. And I find it very funny that now the YouTubers are pressed about using Olaplex, right? Now that people are switching over and caring more about all the place and now that people are focusing on different yeah amla amla has gained a lot of popularity right i've been talking about it for a very long time but amla has gained popularity and so has 
bond reconstruction through Olaplex. Literally, in less in less than six months, y'all have gotten a whole bunch of different product lines, product lines that have been out for years. Now everybody has a bond reconstructive uh, reparative mass treatment. Now everybody has bond repair. Now everybody's concerned about bond repair. And Olaplex has been out for over a decade. And previous to y'all caring about bonds, all they cared about was oil and shea butter and apple cider vinegar. Now we're focused on bonds. Y'all, this is why black women are the easiest to manipulate. Oh, moisture bond repair mask. Oh my God, this is just like Olaplex. Oh, and they got a, a restorative hydroplex. I seen that online. That's just like Olaplex. And then y'all want to, then the next thing that's going to happen, mock my words, because you're, you're going to see it. Watch. The next thing that's going to happen, you're going to start seeing Shea Moisture Bond Repair versus Olaplex 3. You're going to start seeing the verses. Yeah, because this is how it goes. And then they go, you going to see nurses. Y'all going to see all of these videos. They're going to go viral. Y'all going to spend y'all money just to see that the product don't work like y'all thought it was going to work. But then they've already had their money, and now they got a bunch of money for the next project. Olaplex may add new products to their repertoire, right? But it's with the same molecule. They just put the same molecule in different forms. Product, these natural product lines, they have no foundation. So they're just hopping from fad to fad because there's no foundation. Really? If y'all could not see this manipulation, there's nothing anyone can do to help. They have a bonding oil with amla oil now. Amla oil, you guys. Listen, y'all have to stop being so easily easy to manipulate. You have to stop being so easy to manipulate. I want to uh, share something with y'all real quick. I want to play this little video. I didn't edit it or anything, but I want y'all to hear it because when you hear it, to me, I don't think that there is any way, any better way that this has been put. And if y'all do not see this manipulation, this is what they do to make money. Listen. Same damn. Today was. You got three different alcohol brands. <laughs> rolling at the same damn time. I like this nigga's a genius. <laughs> How do you do it? Teach me. Teach me. You know what it is, Tip? You got to tell them what you want instead of them telling you what this going to be. Mm. And all it is is they need you. And if they need you, they're going to play your game. Mm. And what's so cold, and they know it, and I can say it publicly, I don't drink none of that shit. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. And they know what it is. It's like, nigga, you don't pay me to drink it. You pay me to promote it. Right. So I'm not here to get drunk. I'm here to get money. Right. And I can't be exclusive because I'm Snoop Dogg and this is what makes me, this is why you fuck with me because I'm internationally known and I can cross shit up. If you start making me be the you and you only, then the people outside of your brand ain't going to want to fuck with me. I'm trying to make everybody fuck with me. You got three different alcohol brands. <laughs> Rolling. So I'm going to play that again because I don't think, I just want to play it one more time so y'all can really understand and listen to what he said. And this isn't separate from hair products or anything. Listen. Same damn. Today was. You got three different alcohol brands. <laughs> rolling at the same damn time. I like this nigga's a genius. <laughs> How do you do it? Teach me. Teach me. You know what it is, Tip? You got to tell them what you want instead of them telling you what this going to be. Mm. And all it is is. They need you, and if they need you, they're going to play your game. Mm. And what's so cold, and they know it, and I can say it publicly. So, do, do you get me? Do you get where I'm going? Give me a tool if you understand what I'm saying. He literally just said, all of the stuff that I promote, I don't use none of that. 
it is all advertisement. Y'all have to understand that these brands are in it to make money. They're not in it to help you have healthy hair, to make sure that your hair growth cycle is on right. No, they not in it for that. They in it to make money and for nothing else, for nothing else. But see, when, when you are full of offense, when you always want to argue, when you see the people that are trying that look like you, that are or just people who are trying to help you, when you see them as the enemy, or when you are always like, oh no, they just trying to get money, or oh no, you just jealous, or no, my grandma been doing it for this long, then you're gonna constantly be getting played. Because yeah, our ancestors have been doing stuff for a long time, but you know what else has been done for a long time? Them running the same type of game that they running right now. Them running the game that they running right now has been going on just as long as our mothers and our grandmothers have been out. And they've been running game on them too. So our ancestors fought through the stuff that they fought through so they can make it through so we would learn more. So we would take the things that they've done and go further. But if you're going to stay in the same chaos without opening your mind, you everything that they experience is for absolutely nothing because they're literally playing in your face. And I have been, I'm about to be 34 years old. I have been doing this since I was a teen. And every single year, every single year, I watch them play y'all the same way. Every year. Now they're getting so bold that it's happening multiple times in one year. And y'all fall for it every single time. It's it's almost like y'all like y'all fiending for it. Like you're like you're waiting for the next fix of the next thing to waste your money on. And you refuse to learn anything for yourself. And anybody who faces you with accountability, you look at them as the enemy. Where in reality, enemy number one is self. Because it is only you who is responsible for constantly believing people who know nothing about nothing. It's nobody's fault but yours. She's spot on as usual. As usual, I got pressure into buying Shea Moisture Jamaican Castor Oil line. Smell like vanilla. Listen, listen, look. They're, they're playing with y'all because they know that you don't know and they know that you're not going to take the time to learn and they know that you want a shortcut. They know that you're lazy. They know this. They know this. They know this. That man said, exactly. He said, I'm not here to get drunk. I'm here to make money. He said out of his mouth, I don't drink none of them three liquors that I promote. I just dress it up and give it to y'all because I know that they trust me. And I know that whatever I say, they're going to do. I know that there are a bunch of sheep looking for a shepherd. And if I, share, if I point in one direction and I tell them where to go, they're going to go. And that is why when y'all say, oh, Sam, what shampoos do I use? What conditioners do I use? I do not want to answer those questions. I do not want to keep creating like lesions of sheep. We have enough sheep. I want the wolves out. I'm not here for sheep. We have enough sheep. Sheep have hundreds of channels to follow. I am not here for the sheep. I do not want to create a flock. I do not want followers. I need y'all to know who you are. I need you to know who you are. Okay? Because it's the, the things that we are dealing with and the way that y'all get in play, time out, and time again, and time, time again, time again, time again, is at this point, it's freaking ridiculous. And at this point, you can't be like, oh, the white man, or, oh, these product lines are trying to, it's nobody's fault but yours. Because they're literally telling you to your face that I only do this for money. I'm only doing this for the money. I don't drink none of that shit. I don't drink none of that. I don't eat that. I don't wear that. I don't do that. But we still will believe what we see with our eyes instead of opening our minds and gathering new information to make choices on our own.
I feel like I've graduated from Sendow School. Now I'm teaching my granddaughter what Sin taught me. But you have to. And I mean, you don't have to teach her what I taught you. But like the things that you when you when you hear what I say, listen, go in a medical journal. Don't go on no blog. Don't go on Google. Oh, and type in on Google, because if you type in Google, if you type in Google, what what is the best hair oil to use or what's the best thing to do for dry scalp? What's going to pop up? is whatever girl has paid the most money to Google to get at the top of the algorithms, stuff. And then it's going to pop out, oh, oil and stuff like that. No, you have to take your time. Take your time. Search the internet. Look through medical journals. Look through bodies of data. Look through the research. It's going to take time. You're not going to be able to find it in a 15-minute video. And that's the problem because social media has been around for so long because we got all this instant shit around for so long. People get lazy, just like TikTok. I refuse to get on TikTok when everybody was like, let's get on TikTok. I went over there. I made a couple of videos and I came right back over here to YouTube. Keep it like per, uh, producing my long form content. And guess what's happening now? Now TikTok is sick of the short shit. And now TikTok is trying to transform TikTok into YouTube. And everybody that was spending all that time on, on TikTok is coming over here to YouTube trying to build over here. Pay attention to patterns and stop getting manipulated. Your, your, your foundation with the knowledge that you have should be so strong that it don't matter what product come out. It don't matter what celebrity release what. Your roots are so planted in the foundation that you built that nothing will change your stuff. Nothing. That's where everybody needs to be. These brands are so shady. Just hop on trends. But see, the brands aren't shady. Listen, babe, the brands are not shady. The brands are out to make money. This is the problem. The problem is over the last 12 years through the Team Natural community, y'all have, have taken out that line that divides business and personal life. For example, if you go out at night, if you got a job, to, whatever today, I don't even know what today is, Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. Let's say you have friends come in town tonight, right? But you got to be to work tomorrow at, at by 7 o'clock. You got to be there at 7. And if you're not there at 7, the way that the rules go, you are going to be fired. Let's let's say you it's a low tolerance at your job. If you are late, you're going to be fired. So. You go out, you stay up, you oversleep, you don't get to work on time. Can you go to work and be like, but I was out all night and I was up and no, they don't care about any of your personal business because it is business. These product lines are not your friends. They're not your friends. And, and they don't, and there's nothing wrong with that. They don't have to be, this is a business. A lot of people are not going to want to hear this. Your cosmetologist is not your friend. She is your cosmetologist. It is a business. So if your appointment was at 11 now, if she's a dusty, it's some rat cosmetologist that's late all the time. I was always there before my clients got there. I, my clients could be under the impression on a, on a day where I don't run over like and when I say run over, I'm talking about my personal schedule, not late, but on 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 a day that I don't have clients back to back to back and I'm giving myself 10 minute intervals in between. My clients could think that they're my only client, but I will still have 13 in a day. But when I had a client come and she's like, oh, well, I'm going to be 30 minutes late. No, you're not. I have a five minute grace period. Well, that's but that's so that's so unprofessional or saying that's so rude and that's so mean. You it was only 30 minutes and her baby is sick and she don't have a that is that's not that's personal. This is a business. I can't just because you 30 minutes late because I don't care what happened. You being 30 minutes late and I take your hair, guess what? I still have another client. My other client is going to be on time, right? But I let you come 30 minutes late. 
So the woman who came at one o'clock, let's say your appointment is going to take me an hour, an hour and a half, and your appointment was at 12, but you need to wait 30 minutes. So when you come in, even though you go, you say in 30 minutes, you got, you got to come in, you got to put your purse down, you got to go to the bathroom, you want to talk, you going to want to ask questions, all that. So I'm not even going to start until at least 45 minutes after you were supposed to be there. So the time frame that I had to do your hair, I no longer have. So then when my next client comes in, mind you, my day is now. I know it's going to take me two hours to do your hair. So as long as you come on time, when you leaving out, my next client coming in, boom, she right in my chair. But if you 30 minutes late and it's personal and I care about your feelings and what you went through, and I say, okay, come on. Now I'm 45 minutes behind and my next client is writing a Yelp review on me because I'm not ready when she got there. Do you think she's going to care that you had whatever you had going on? Or do you think she's going to write me a negative review and blame me and the way that I'm running my business because I heed it to your personal life? That is how y'all have to look at things. And it's the same way for product lines. This is a business. Yes, your hair is something precious to you. Yes, your hair is something personal to you. But it is a business. With product lines, it is a business. They do not know you. They don't care. They not sitting there like, I'm about to play these women. I'm about to play these women. No, black woman, you are not a victim. You control the market. These brands ain't bad. You're bad. You give all of your attention to certain things and all they do is follow where you are giving your attention to. You know how they decide on what product to, to create? There is a certain, like there is a certain job description that people go to school for and get degrees for. And their job is to get on social media, search the market and see what's trending and then report it back to the company and tell the company, this is the product and this is the additive that's trending. If we do a product with an additive with the with these two additives, these two viral additives, then we're going to have a viral product. We're going to make money. And then they go into the lab and make it and y'all buy it the fuck up every time. Why would they stop? Why would they stop? You control the market. You control the market. Y'all stop wanting to pay attention to oils and butters. Y'all start paying attention to bonds. So what is everybody doing? Everybody's creating bond reconstructive treatments. Bond reconstructive treatments are not new. I've been told in Olaplex since I got out of cosmetology school. I'm about to be 34. That was when I was 18. Olaplex been out since I was 18. Why are they just now doing it? Because that is where your attention is. Y'all have to pay attention. They are literally playing you right in your face. But you are so full of offense. You're, you, you have all of these other things going on. You can't even see it. They playing you right in your face. Nothing will compare it to Olaplex. Olaplex has over 167 patents. So their patents make it in other brands can't even legally do what their molecule can do. Do you understand what a patent is? When something is patent like that, a chemist cannot even go in the lab to begin to produce something like it. That's what a patent is. Olaplex has over 140 patents. There is, there is nothing like it on the market. It is impossible for there to be. Are there other things that repair the bonds a little bit? Yeah. But no, there's nothing else. I need y'all to go study the patents that Olaplex have and what it means to have a patent. And when y'all study that, then you this whole argument, this is like Olaplex. This is compared to Olaplex. We'll stop having that conversation. Because legally, there can be no other molecule produced that does what Olaplex does in the way that it does it. That's why they have over 140 patents. Come on, y'all. Come on.
Stop being so easily manipulated. That's why my channel is full of the science. I'm not here for what product is best here? What product is best here? No, y'all need to learn the science of the human body. Y'all get paid, played constantly because y'all do not know anything about yourself. So somebody can come and tell you anything about yourself and you go go with it. Black women, they've been telling, they've been teaching you about you and you've been believing the stupid shit. They've been teaching you about you for years and you've been believing it. Other races have been teaching you, black woman, that you are the only creature on the face of this earth that doesn't have a sebaceous gland. Our dogs, my dog has an oil gland. But black woman, you have listened to everybody for over a decade, for multiple decades, tell you that you don't have oil coming out of your scalp, that, that God gave you all of the amazing things that you have. But the one thing God said is oil going to flow from every part of her body but the scalp. Black women are cursed to be the only women without a, a, a sebaceous gland. No, the curse that black women have is ignorance. That is what black women are cursed with. And if you don't want to hear it, I'm sorry. If that's too much, if it seems too much, then this ain't the channel for you. I'm here for the women who want to remember because I'm not telling you nothing that you don't already know. You, you knew when you was doing it to your hair that it didn't feel right. Something in you told you that it didn't feel right. But because that girl that you was looking at had hair to her ass, you was like, no, mine going to be like that is better. You let your eyes force you to throw your spirit woman like just away and everything that your spirit has been telling you all these years you let the things that you've seen visually with your eyes cause you to just throw it all away and it's not okay what is so sad they know that you are desperate mm -hmm. and the greedy look but no, that like I just said, nobody's looking at you as you're not. Listen, how how is somebody looking at you as prey when they just giving you what you want? How 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 are they manipulating you? And I'm not being rude, Keita, but I want I need y'all all to stop playing the victim in every way, shape, or form. And that is a victim mentality. I'm sorry. If y'all think that these white people are sitting around in their rooms like <laughs> we're gonna make the black girls bored <laughs> it's dumb you know why y'all still gonna need to buy products even if y'all not buying stupid stuff that y'all don't need y'all still gonna buy products how are they manipulating you giving you what you want y'all literally said we don't have no products for us. The products don't have oils and butters in them. They thought it was stupid. That's why they never created products like that. But y'all begged for it, so they gave it to you. Y'all got tired of making rice water y'all self. And y'all was like, I wish we had products with rice water. And y'all y'all made videos about rice water go viral in the millions. So then they give you products with rice water in it. How are, How is that manipulation? How are they doing something wrong? A licensed cosmetologist like me, and I have the videos to prove it. For years, I've been saying just use a clarifying shampoo and a detox of, and, a, and a scrub on the scalp. Y'all said, no, we're going to use apple cider vinegar because that's better. And shampoos are bad. Sulfates are bad. Sulfates went viral being bad. Guess what they did? They took the fucking sulfates out of the shampoos because y'all said sulfates was bad. How are they manipulating you, giving you what you want? Y'all said we need more coconut oil and products. They put fucking coconut oil in everything. How are they manipulating you, giving you what you're asking for? As the woman, you control the market. Consumers control the market. They are not manipulating you. They're giving you what you ask for. My channel is about teaching you how to ask for something different. You cannot call these brands and these companies master manipulators or, oh, they trying to come out to get y'all or they out to get y'all. No, you know what they out to get? They out to make money. Just like you. You don't get up and put on your clothes and go to work every day and sit at that job out the kindness of your heart. You do that because you got to pay rent and you got to pay your phone bill and your light bill and your gas bill. 
that's what it is. It's the same thing, y'all. No one is manipulating black women by giving black women what they want. How are they manipulating you by packaging up a product packaged to, to look like the things that you spend all of your time looking at? The only thing that y'all watch is about stuff with wash and goes to the point where the products that they make that are actually for the human hair shaft, you won't buy. Because the team national community told you that the products that you should have are bad. So they don't make the products that y'all say are bad because y'all not going to buy them. So they make the products that you were obsessed over and then you buy them. How, like, y'all, I'm not being rude, but I just need y'all, like, please give me a five if you can see the insanity. Please give me a five. I need to know that at least one person understands what I'm saying. Like, y'all, just at least one five in the place. Y'all, like, y'all. Come on, bro. Like, we can't, we can't be, we cannot constantly be that easy to manipulate. Like, we can't. We can't. It can't be this easy. It can't be this easy. And and that's what's frustrating. We're like, oh, why do you sound so intense? Because it's frustrating that black women are walking around looking this dumb. Why are we looking this dumb? And then we then we then we be like, they're getting us. You, the only thing they're doing to you is giving you what you're asking for. How are you gonna ask for? Hit me right here. Hit me right here and use apple cider vinegar gloves. Use rice nipple gloves. Hit me right here. Right here. Give me some shit that's going to break down my follicle slow. Right here. And then they like, are you sure? Yes. Y'all ain't made no stupid products for us. Y'all, y'all ain't make no stupid products. Oh, y'all got the audacity. All oh, y'all gonna get black women is the products that's just like everybody else. Y'all gonna include us. Y'all got the audacity to include black women, and y'all gonna make us use the same products. No more segregation. How dare you? Ugh. And then complain that they gave y'all what y'all asked for. The problem is the shit that y'all was asking for didn't work. The problem is y'all should have always been listening to cosmetologists. That's the problem. That's the issue. The problem is the, the products that all of these team natural people told y'all to use, they didn't work. And they were never going to work because they were never backed by science. It was always backed by emotion because I'm a black woman and my hair is hard to comb. Y'all not going to like this next part. Hey, it is what it is. Y'all, the most black women's favorite thing, that, well, I'm going to lose some people here. Most black women's favorite thing to say to me is, but hair is so hard to comb, it's painful. My question to you is, why do you allow your hair to get so matted and tangled that it hurts to comb? That's the question that I have. And it's not a rhetorical one. Why do you allow your hair to get so matted and tangled that it is painful to comb? What are the patterns and routines that you are following from wash day to wash day that makes your hair so tangled that it is painful and excruciating to comb without paralyzing the hair shaft. Why is that? Because it does not happen to everyone. It doesn't. Thank you for your knowledge. I'm listening and passing on your channel information to others. Whatever you do, please only pass my channel to the people who are ready to receive it. Because let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. If you bring one of the Team Natural members over here and they arguing, listen, I'm blocking them immediately. I'm not reading. Like, 
I do not, I no longer allow, because if I do, if I don't handle it like this, then I'm going to stop making videos. I do not allow people who got their education on YouTube University to distort my energy. So if you tell somebody to come over here and they want to argue, so if the first sentence, if the first couple of words is, you don't know what you're talking about, I disagree. I'm deleting the comment. I'm not even going to read it. And depending on how I'm feeling, like if our flow is in town, I'm probably going to block them too. I am not arguing with people that have, that got their education from YouTube university. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. So. It's a pleasure to listen to, to someone who thinks for themselves. Also, you have the knowledge and years of experience as a cosmetologist, so you're the most logical. Listen. And the thing is, I'm not trying to force anybody to believe nothing. I just tell you some information, and then I want you to go look for yourself in a medical journal. Do not search on YouTube if you or Google. If you search on YouTube or Google, what you are going to find is the YouTubers who have now started blogs and they put in the same stupid shit that they had on the videos on the blogs. But this is the thing. Every, I think that everybody is so caught up in the old paradigms. Like money's the root of all evil. And y'all like none of y'all could even listen to the sound of my voice without money. So why what what why what else would he be going to work? Why do you go to work every day? You can't do anything without money. You can't listen to me. You can't buy soap to wash your ass. Even if you make soap yourself, you can't buy the stuff to make soap without money. Money is not like the way that people use it is evil. But Everybody that's listening to the sound of my voice, unless you don't have a job and you get benefits or something, everybody gets up and goes to work for money. And if he, if 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 advertising is his job, why wouldn't he do it for money? Oh, the place has made a huge difference in my hair. Oh yeah, I love all the place. Question, we're using other plants. Are you using the product throughout your hair routine? Um, watch the video that I have on other plants. I have multiple videos on other plants. Go ahead. I guarantee the CD CEOs of these brands ain't even using it. I know for a fact they're not using the stuff that they get. And this is the thing. Y'all know that six hundred dollar blow dryer that y'all buying? A black person did not create that. And do you think? That the person who created that is sticking their damn hair in the hole and pressing a the button. They are not. I can guarantee you that white women and white men around the world are not sticking their hair in that damn hole and pressing a button. But they know how lazy black women are. And they know that if they create a tool that takes away the accountability and that takes some time away, that y'all will go out and buy it. So they spend their money on it, but you can trust and believe they are not using that blow dryer. Have you ever noticed that it's really, when you go search that blow dryer, you do see a couple of other races, but it's only viral with black women. And you should ask yourself why. <laughs> That's the question that everybody needs to be asking themselves. Like why? How come all of these brands are making all of these products for us, but they don't use them? Hmm. No, the brands are not following trends. The brands are following the customers. They're following you. Trends are only trends because of the viewers. If you don't watch it, it doesn't get millions of views. They're only they're paying attention to what people are paying attention to. The reason that these brands stop marketing to with hairstylists and stop using us is because hairstylists, we weren't preaching it. We were like, no, they only need to be buying shampoo once every three months. 
No, they only need a quarter size amount. They say, oh, no, that don't make us enough money. You you got to make them the enemy. So make them the enemy so people won't listen to them because they don't know what they're talking about. They're the money hungry ones. No, we're not about to switch that because, because for the last 12 years, cosmetologists, licensed hairstylists and cosmetologists have been the money hungry ones. When whole time, the people who was really taking all of your bread was the product lines whole time whole time whole whole time but the thing is is you welcome babe but i've been talking like this the whole time most cosmetologists have been like this the entire time that's why the last video that I made, um, that's why, and that's why I'm blocking people. It's like, oh, you're attacking people who want to wear wash and goals and twist outs. It's like, bite me. You know why? Because for the last, for over a decade, well over a decade, as a cosmetologist, every time I get online, every time I get online, all I see is everything that I do is the worst thing you can ever do to hair. So all while the team natural community was going on, all while y'all was being uh, junkies, product junkies, all why blow dryers and flat irons was the devil. I was using them from the time I got up to the time I went to bed on 13 clients a day, five days a week. Growing hair inches on top of inches on top of inches. Using everything that y'all said was bad. Silicones. That's why all of y'all hair is weak. Listen, y'all let them tell y'all silicones was bad, but then give y'all the lock method. Listen, the products that y'all put on your hair are 10 times worse than any silicone you can ever use. Silicone ain't never caused the amount of damage that these products cause to your hair shaft. And that's actual factual information. I have a new video coming really soon on silicone. But my next video, the one that's going up tomorrow morning, is going to be about locks. And then after that, we're going to get to silicones. Listen, you've never you've never went in a hair salon and seen none of that. And if you do, it's a hairstylist that folded. And if you a hairstylist that folded, you know that you did. So just hush and unfold yourself like the unfold, unprestalize yourself. Because you know you folded if you got those products in your shop. You know you did. So don't argue about it. Don't draw attention to yourself. Just switch it up. black women alienate themselves yes why do black women need separate hair care products from other races it's weird it's always been weird it's always been annoying but y'all love it so they give it to y'all y'all alienated y'all self y'all are so free that y'all willingly choose chains like we had light skin versus dark skin. Then we start moving away from that. We like, ooh, Shea Butter, baby. We got our Ari Linux. We, lo we love our chocolatey skin now. But that wasn't enough. We was like, no, we need more separation. Our relaxed girls and our natural girls over here. Down to the point that y'all in black women now, y'all have a habit of introducing yourself as 4C. Y'all be like, yeah, so I'm a 4C natural. Y'all are all freaking brainwashed. 4C is not even real. The curl typing chart was made by Oprah Winfrey's hairstylist, Andre Walker, in the early 1990s to sell his product line. And black women are stuck on the fours. But it goes to one because he had products for every race. Four was just black girls, the curliest hair, but it starts at one. One A, B, C. 2 ABC, 3 ABC, 4 ABC. Yeah. But black women are the only ones that fell into it. Why is it that even though Andre Walker made a, he made a list for every race, why is it that black women are the only ones following his chart? It is not a rhetorical question. I need at least one person to answer that question for me. Andre Walker made the hair typing chart to sell his hair products. And he made the chart to go from one to four. 
one being the people who were one A, one B, one C, those were Asian women. Asian women have the straightest hair. So Asian women are in the ones. Caucasian women are in the twos. And then you got threes and then fours as it goes curly because hair goes straight. Straight hair is the one. Two is the wavy. And three and four is the different levels of curly. Yeah. Four is the curliest number. That's black women are in the fours. Why is it that white girls not walking around? I'm one. Why aren't Asian women walking around? I'm one A. I'm one B. I'm a one A Asian woman. Why are Caucasian women not walking around? I'm two B. I'm a two B Caucasian white woman. Why are Hispanic girls not walking around? I'm a I'm a three A Hispanic. I have Hispanic natural hair. Why are black women the only women walking around with a fucking name tag to their hair? Yes, I'm cussing. If you if you can't get with it, hey. Why are black women the only ones walking around with a name tag? Why? Why do you need a why do you need a separate group? Why do you need to be separated? Why? I'm a 4B natural. I'm for how come? How come only black women have taken onto his chart? He made the chart for all races. Why are we the only ones using it? It's not a rhetorical question. Like what what is it? Black women, you you are so free that you choose chains. It's an easier way to identify myself. You need to, you need identification? You need a name tag? Your hair needs a name tag? You need identification? Thank you. I'm so happy for you because we believe other unqualified people when they told us black women shouldn't comb their hair every day. But this is the thing. That's why you have to you have to take account. Not you, babe. But as a as a people, you have to take accountability for that. Why are you listening to somebody who don't know shit? What, what, what did they give you other than what you saw with your eyes to tell you that you could trust and hang on to that everywhere? What did they do? What did they do to prove that to you? It's not a rhetorical question. I need y'all to ask. I'm getting some lip chat. Hi. You coming? No? Okay. Sorry, guys. Could have took my phone with me, but didn't really feel like it. I'm going to come back. Journey with you. I'm going to come back. Where was I, honey? <laughs> but the thing is, like, when even though, yeah, is marketing, but marketing isn't forcing you like somebody that's marketing isn't doing anything to like force you into doing anything so this is this is what i want you to really think about like nobody's forcing you to do anything but you should be forcing yourself to gather all of the information before you spend your money and these product lines are literally just giving you exactly what you're asking for. They're literally just giving you what you asked for. That's all they've done wrong is giving you what you've asked them for. Yeah. 
Yes, I'm so glad. And that's because most likely your old habits and practices were the thing that was keeping your hair from growing. And once you stop putting all that stuff on your hair, your hair can do what it needs to do naturally. <laughs> Bush it till. Let me take you to Bush it till. Listen, y'all been walking around. Y'all are citizens of bullshit town. <laughs> I don't know any team natural people. These are women that are struggling like myself. They don't even get on YouTube. But this is the thing. When I say team natural... I'm not just talking about people who are on YouTube. I'm also talking about women who won't evolve, women who won't change the way that they do their hair, women who won't like broaden their horizons and find other ways to do their hair. I'm sorry. Like the video that I posted earlier, the video that went up earlier, give me a two in the comments if you've seen it. And if you haven't, watch it when this one is done. Because in that video, I showed you guys what my everyday life was like in the shop. Like I had one little girl who my mom dropped her off with matted hair that she hadn't combed in who knows how long. And then right after her, I had a client who hadn't combed her hair in God knows how long. And I had to detangle all of their hair with oil. So that's why when people are like, no, you need to go with water. It's like, shut your face. Because this is what I did for a living. Detangled, matted hair. I was the person that everybody would come to when they got done with their team natural stuff. So I'm not giving you what I think or, I no. Just saw a video from a YouTuber who thought, have some sense was telling people that there are three unnecessary things that naturals need shampoo brush your hair don't know listen like i because you know why because they're scrambling when you don't know what the hell you're talking about and you just making up shit as you go eventually you're gonna run out of ideas when i'm making videos i'm not i don't have an idea i have an idea Let's talk about the sebaceous gland. It's not an idea. I've been studying this since I was fucking 18. It's not an idea. I'm about to be 34. I've been studying the human scalp and the human hair shaft my entire adult life. So I'm not like, I have an idea, guys. Let's talk about this. Like, no. We can talk about the human body all day. I'm licensed to treat your first three layers of skin. From the top of your head to the bottom of your feet. And your hair shaft from the root to the tip. But when you just making up stuff as you go, it's going to be a lot harder to keep up with the content. You're going to start making up stuff over and over and over again. It's the love of money we all needed. But listen, it don't that money is just what what most people attach their emotion to. But people lie, steal, cheat, and kill for a whole lot of stuff, not just money. There are men that kill, lie, cheat, all in the name of what's in between somebody's legs. There are women who do exactly the same things, and even worse for a man. It has nothing to do with money. It's human nature. People do way worse things for other human beings than they do for money. It is the human intent. Money has nothing to do with anything. It's, it's human error. It's not the love of money. It's, it's a human that has no control. Me too. Are you a cosmetologist or a hairstylist, Erica? <laughs> it looks like all school vacuum cleaner. Man, I I can't stand this baby hair thing. Y'all are grown ass women. Y'all baby, y'all hair ain't been babies for years. Your baby's got a mortgage. Your baby's your babies owe money on their taxes. Mm. Your baby has 
your baby has pay rent. Your your baby has got a car note. Yo, 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 baby hair has got a light bill and a gas bill and a water bill. Can I tell them baby hair? Anyway. So many products go viral with our faces attached. We make these people millionaires. And 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 it's it's your fault. Not you, but like just like with the whole relaxer thing. Listen, y'all will turn on y'all people in a split millisecond. All that white man, or he not even white. I, I don't even, well, it was a bunch of them. All they had to do was say, yeah, relaxers cause cancer because they saw a YouTuber say it. Relaxers cause cancer. They hopped on it, made a court case, made millions of dollars off of it because hundreds of y'all, thousands of y'all, they were running ads. And have y'all, give me a two if you've noticed that you won't see none of them damn ads no more. You know why? The court case is over. He already got his guap. They don't care nothing about you. That wasn't real. It was a money grab because black women are the easiest women to turn against each other and they're the easiest women to manipulate. All they had to do was put one little thing out there, some pictures, some video with your face on it, yeah, and the relaxer that I gave myself, not because it wasn't relaxers done by hairstylists, it was box relaxers that y'all were doing at home, not knowing what y'all was doing, not basing the scalp properly, leaving it on too long, not using the right relaxer for your porosity, busting your cuticle and your follicle wide open. That's what happened. But they don't know that. They just said, oh, this is a good money grab. Let's get them. And so they needed you. Because they you you got just like with the just like with the human scalp when you got seborrheic dermatitis. Seborrheic dermatitis is the end goal. The lawsuit getting the money, that's the end goal. But they need a trigger. What was that trigger? Oh, we need a trigger. We're, emotion. Emotion is the trigger every time. Turn black women against each other. See, you're black. Your hair not supposed to be like this anyway. It's supposed to be it's supposed to be curly. And the people that make their hair trying to make their hair straight, they the ones that's out to get you. See, these relaxer companies, they've been out to get you the whole time. Meanwhile, it's you. You're the one who was doing it wrong. You're the one that wasn't following directions. You were the one that was giving yourself a relaxer every time you saw new growth instead of every couple of months. That was you, not the product line, not the company. But they turn all of y'all against each other. They say, yup, it's these hairstylists giving us these relaxers. Yup, relaxers cause cancer. And then y'all was looking like plump idiots all over social media, arguing, going back and forth. Meanwhile, they sitting up, can't wait because they know they about to get a fat ass check off of y'all stupidity. And then the court case went through. He won. And black women, all y'all all still getting 10, $20 checks. Meanwhile, go look it up. Every last one of these lawyers that have these cases against relaxers, when they won, they got millions, hundreds of thousands. Do you hear me? There's not one black woman walking the face of this earth that has gotten more than about $150 for that relaxer case. Yeah. But it dissolves soap, but you know what else it dissolves? The hair follicle. It dissolves the hair shaft. Apple cider vinegar can also dissolve the, anything that's hopping up your sink. It is a natural vegetable acid. It does not belong on the hair shaft in any way, shape, or form, nor does any other acid. No, people are still using apple cider vinegar right now as we speak. Right now, as we speak, somebody is smelling like pickle juice right now. There is at least one person in here listening to the sound of my voice. They're not going to admit it, but there's at least one person in here that smells like dill pickles. I got a pickle. I got a pickle. I got a pickle. Hey, 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 hey. I got a pickle. I got a pickle. I got a pickle. Hey, 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 hey. I'm used to other and love it. Yay. I love it. 
have on the back seal. All the hairdressers I watch like silicones. Yeah. You listen, and you know who don't like them? The hairstylists that fold it. The hairstylists that want you to see me too. I'm a team natural stylist. Me. I'm a team now. I'm a natural hairstylist. I can't stand that. Listen, okay, I just did on uh this, yeah, this Saturday at six. I'm gonna have two hairstylists come in. I had six contacting me, but the other ones I'm not bringing on because they're all, I'm a natural hairstylist. I don't, I don't do that. I, because what is the difference? No, if your hair is coming out of your follicle is natural. I don't align. No, I don't know. Mm -mm. Most natural hairstylists have thrown away everything that they learned in cosmetology school and they have replaced it with team natural stuff and they just dress up the team natural shit to make it sound more professional and do it in a hair salon but it's still team natural shit it's just team natural stuff dressed up so yeah no they never had it and the thing is like Paul Mitchell. Paul Mitchell's great. Just like Design Essentials. All of these brands have had to subside to y'all. That's why it's like, oh, these brands are manipulating us. No, they're not. These brands are, are backed into a fucking corner. Excuse my French. The brands have no choice. They literally have to create this bullshit for y'all or y'all not going to buy products from me. Paul Mitchell wasn't doing no co-wash and conditioner. And guess what? There is only one type of woman who is going to buy it. There's only one type of woman that's going to buy it. You think everybody buying that? No. Only black women who love car washing are going to buy it. So these brands are making different conditioners and stuff that fit into that so they can make up for their bottom line. What you mean? If... If you go into work and your check, if your check every two weeks is $4,000 and then it's one little change that you make in your computer or something and instead of your check being $4,000 is, is now $2,000 because of one little change that you made or one change that you refused to make for a while, you're going to be like, no, I'm standing true to this. But then after 12 years, of your shit being like uh, you going from 4,000 to 2,000, you're going to be like, all right, well, shit, if they want it, then here. And that's all that's happened. That's it. They don't give a damn about that. I'm telling you what I know. They made it because y'all won't stop asking for it and because their bottom line wasn't being reached. So to get back the people who stop buying the products that they're supposed to be buying, they make up the stupid shit so y'all will start spending the money again. That's how it works. The same way that in the hair salon, most cosmetologists start losing a lot of money. If your if your boof rent is two hundred and eighty five dollars a week, and all of your clients are saying, and and if your boof rent is two hundred and eighty dollars a week, and all you do is silk wraps and 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 extensions, and all of your clients are like blow dryers and flat irons are bad, and you don't do twist outs and you don't do roller sets, then what in the hell are you gonna do? You're going to lose all of your clients. So you have a choice. You 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 have two choices and two choices only. You either, no, three. You either leave the industry and go somewhere else and use your knowledge in another way. That's a choice that I made. Or you decide, I'm going to just wait this shit out. And whoever I lose, I lose. It is what it is. I'll move into a smaller space that I can afford because it just is what it is. That's what most of the cosmetologists that did not fold are doing right now. And the third are the ones who folded. They was like, shit, okay, you want a little twist out here? Come on, I'll twist that shit up and put you under the dryer. Okay, come on. That's what happened. I don't care what nobody say. It isn't as if Andre wasn't a master hairstylist. The curl type and describes the tightness of the curl and the reason for black women follow the chart is because it's been helpful. Okay, so you, listen, you're going to learn very swiftly not to come in here unless you got something to back it with. So let me ask you this. Other than a vanity metric, other than your hair being pretty, 
what does you having a curl type and chart do to help you with the with your hair? How does it help you with your porosity? How does it help? Explain to me. I'm not even going there. Explain to me, since this is the statement that you're making, explain to me what you being able to identify your curls as 4C. What does it help you with other than you being able to match your curl pattern to a hair extension? I'll wait. The Sunday Cafe. We got time because I am I do this to break the, the shit that women like you and people like you put out and the stuff that's on you. I'm not here for it. So if you're going to make the statement, I need you to answer this question again. It isn't as if Andre wasn't a masterful hairstylist. He was basic. It, he was okay. He was okay. He was all right. And it was when his intention was never for it to help you with the health of your hair. When he made the chart, the only thing that that chart was used for, a woman whose hair looked like the 4C picture would use the product in the blue bottle. That's how it went. So again, since you're going to make this statement, I need you to explain to me other than being able to match your curl pattern to a hair extension, and other than you being able to say, yeah, my hair looks like her, 4C. What did you knowing, or you being able to identify your curl pattern as 4A or 4C, what does that do to help you with your scalp's profile? I'll wait, because I'm so interested in hearing it. No, it's not true. Again, I'm going to need you. You have all of this knowledge, so I need you to explain it to me. Because I've been doing this for over a decade, and I've had over 50,000 clients, 45,000 on paper that I can count. And that's when I started doing online booking. But way more before that. So I know that I know that I know. So again, I'm going to ask you, other than you being able to visually see what your curls look like, what does the curl type and chart help you do? Because there is not one medical professional. Break it down. Break it down. What is the difference? You keep, you, all you have is emotion. Give me some facts outside of your emotion and outside of a vanity metrics. What point does it serve? I care nothing about your emotions. We can't do nothing with your emotions. Nothing. We can't pay one bill with your emotions. Get, like, let's go. What is it? Why is it bad to be labeled for a C? It's only bad if you're ashamed. Release the shame. No, 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 no. I need you to answer the question. And do y'all see how... People who like to like interject and drop stuff, all you all they can do is like do the tit for tat. There are no facts ever. There is no facts ever. There is only emotion. Being shamed of 4C. The only women who have shame are women who speak of it. What are you talking about? We no, we're not doing that. Let's not guess like you're shamed. No. Again, other than being 4C, other than being 4C, other than it matching your curl pattern, what purpose does 4C, 4B, and the curl type and chart serve? Why are labels bad? Really? Because I thought this whole time Black women have been tired of being labeled. I thought that's what everybody was tired of this whole time. Now labels aren't bad. This is what I'm talking about. And women like you, stop. Listen, do not come in here shooting if you don't got bullets. You have no bullets. Do not shoot if you don't want smoke. I make videos to kill the mentality that you have, the, to kill the mentality that reigns in you. Because y'all are so full of emotion that y'all cannot think. Y'all sound stupid. You sound dumb. 
And I'm sitting here waiting. I'm sitting here waiting for you to give me some facts to match what you're talking about. I'm a scientist. So I don't believe anything is 100% absolute. So there could possibly be some, some logic, but you've given me none. You know why? Because you have none. I'm not here for emotion. I'm not here for emotional women who cannot look past stupid stuff. That's dumb. That's dumb. What's wrong with being labeled? Why is it wrong to be labeled? Why is it bad to be labeled? 4C is only bad if you're ashamed. Release the shame of being 4C. What y'all are, this is why black women are the easiest women to manipulate. This is the mentality on all of you. This is the mentality on all of you. 4C is not real. We have three textures, straight, wavy, and curly. Straight has different levels. Some people's hair is bone straight and some people's hair is straight, but it ain't bone straight. It can hold a little curl. And some people's hair is so straight, they can't even hold a curl. And then you got wavy. You got some people's hair that's wavy, but it's only wavy if you like do a bunch of stuff to it. But for the most part, it's just wavy. But then you got hair that's super duper wavy. It's right before curly, but not quite. It's right there. And then you have curly and then there are different levels of curly. The way that my instructor taught me, you got like small, medium, large. You got small, medium, large and straight. You got small, medium, large and wavy and you got small, medium, large and curly. That's it. Not 4B, 4C, 4D, 4B, 4W, nothing. So you are now blocked. Um, I hold on, I need a second. Hold on. There we go. I'm not here for weak women and weak minded men and weak minded individuals who cannot think. I'm not here for that. And I'm not here to, I'm black and proud. I'm forced and shamed. I'm not here for y'all. I am not, we will get nowhere, nowhere. I'm not here for y'all. So more y'all, you got more comments, come through and get blocked. Cause I'm not about to argue with women who have no factual information. If you want, if you, if you got something that differs, when I, when I ask you for the proof, give it to me. Let's talk, let's chat. But as you can see, that was emotion. She was never, she was never, give me a two if I missed, did I miss it? Give me a two if you saw her answer. She was never able to give an answer. No one ever can. No one ever can. That's why the YouTubers that y'all see that talk crap about me online, they'll talk crap about me on their channel. You'll never see them here doing it. You'll never see them in a live. You'll never see them comment on my channel. Because nobody has any facts. Everybody shoots with no bullets. I got a loaded clip, though. Sorry, I'm about to calm down. Oof. Hold on, I need some background music on for a minute. Sorry, I just don't, I just. <clears throat> I told y'all, Cancer, Sun, and Moon, Gemini, Rising. Don't, I, I never want problems, but if you want problems, I got a pocket full of problems. Moderators, black people, please. I can't, the girl, not today. No.
But to be honest, until things catch off to me, I, I really, 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 really don't. Even even though my hair has gotten drastically longer than it was since the last time y'all seen it, like armpit length, I don't want to show y'all my hair because I don't like, I can't stand when people are just looking at me and not paying attention to the facts. No, I want it to be the science. Like, I don't... Mm -mm. You're putting your track on the market. You're willing to drop your, your corners on that junk. Yes, thank you. Black women are not the only women who follow the Latinas, mixed races, white women do it here as well, but they don't shame each other. They not, no, they don't. And they don't, they don't do it. Listen. I'm not trying to be rude, but everything that you're saying is observation. I have been doing this for over, uh, I've been doing this for a long time. Like everything that you are saying is based on your observation through what you see online, based on what you see on a computer, based on what you know. Like I live in Vegas. My clients have not all been black. Vegas is a melting pot. That's what they call it. They call it Ve Vegas the, the the spaghetti bowl. I'm sorry. Because it's every all roads cross is you you never it, you meet all different races of people. Like there's no set environment. It is only this race of people over here and only this race of people over here. No. You got some of everybody. My clients are all races. And Mexican women are not going week months without washing their hair they're not i'm sorry it's not no 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 i'm sorry no it's not the same it's not the same it may look that way you know why because there's a big bag in in youtube when it comes to hair products and you know the fastest way to make money team natural products Different butters, different oils, different locks, different creams, different curl creams. It's not because those are their habitual habits and routines and patterns. It's not. I'm not, but it just doesn't make sense to suck my hair into a vacuum because I'm too lazy to use my arm with a brush. Listen, she said it, not me. She said it, not me. But that's how I feel. I can't in things that cause men to lose more like for the most part the women who've been using those blow dryers already don't give their hair the attention that it needs so then you gonna take even more accountability away now all y'all gotta do is stick your hair in a hole listen and the firms make like 50 percent off fees yes 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 girl when I tell you those people were getting like $20 checks, $50 checks, they went to litigation, all of this stuff, $10, $20 checks. Meanwhile, the attorney, he got $2.5 million. I saw one of them, the one that I featured on my channel, $2.5 million he got. $2.5 million. And all of the women that were up under him, it was about, it was about 3,000, 3,500 of them. And then he only splits a percentage of that with them. And when those percentages went out for all of those oh, almost 4,000 women, all of them got $20 checks. So y'all all turned on y'all own people to make another dude that don't got nothing to do with your people millions of dollars for $20. You got $20. Yeah. Between pickleball juice and nibble juice, my stomach hurt. Listen. Y'all, Juicy J, I gotta stay blah. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> My mother uses apple cider vinegar at least once or twice a month, and the whole house smells. Listen, this thing, I tried a vinegar rinse about two years ago, so it's really touched my scalp, it burned bad. 
I have four consultations tomorrow, and all of them are from women over 50, and all of their past routines involved apple cider vinegar, blue magic, and um, one, um, what you call that, pink oil moisturizer. Y'all all do the same habits over and over again. Lord, baby. <sighs> Nowadays, I'm more concerned about my scalp health rather than concerned about my curl pattern. It's so dumb to me. Speak your facts in. My hair is flourishing because of your information. Bye bye, pickle juice. <laughs> bye bye, pickle juice. I have like three different textures in my hair, so why just stick with saying I'm for it? It's like saying, hey, my name's Sin, I'm caramel skin, I'm a caramel skin black woman, and I do hair, like, oh my God. That's how y'all sound. Hey, I'm Sin, I'm light skin. Hey, my name's Sin, I'm caramel. <clears throat> Hey, my name's Sin. I'm a light-skinned, short black girl. Hey, my name's Sin. I'm light-skinned and I'm five foot. That's how y'all sound. I'm a four. I'm a four C natural. There's no difference between you introducing yourself as a four C natural and me introducing myself as a five foot light-skinned girl. It they both equally sound dumb. If, if if every black woman start walking into a room announcing herself, saying her name, her height, and her skin complexion, y'all be like, what is wrong with them? But y'all think y'all don't sound crazy? Y'all think y'all don't sound dumb? You do. You do. I'm sorry if it hurts your feelings, but you sound dumb. It's equally stupid. I'm a, my name's Sam. I'm caramel skin. And I got a big booty, but... And my boobies kind of big too. And I'm light skinned. That's what y'all do. But when I say it, it sounds funny. But when y'all say it, it don't sound funny. Y'all sound equally dumb. But because y'all like saying it, y'all don't think that y'all sound dumb. But y'all sound dumb. I'm a thick black girl. What's your race? Thick? No, I'm, 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 I'm 4C thick. Oh, I'm light-skinned thick. How my name's Sam, I'm light-skinned thick from the West Side. Used to be Tylee calling, now I'm in straight edge, where the kinky did it, barely can describe her. But why do we want to describe each other's hair texture so bad? Like, we're the only people who do it. And somebody, oh, other races do it. Y'all don't even know that y'all not the only ones with curly hair. So you can't even say that. The majority of y'all don't even know that y'all not the only ones with curly hair. We can turn the music down. I'm okay now. <sighs> Detroit has its pros and its cons. More pros than cons from my personality. But one of the cons is I don't, I like, I just, I, I don't know. I just don't let people say whatever they want to say to me. I need to do better with that. I know, but it just... It, 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 I can't do it right now. Well, I can, but I don't want to. I've been following your advice on this channel and my fakey scalp has reduced, girl. Thank you. It's my pleasure, my love. No oils. That's what's causing your flakes, the oils. When I say I threw out my unneeded hair products, yes. I learned so much from Sia's video. Excellent content. Thank you. I appreciate you. You gassing me up, ain't Tell me my beat. No mirrors or nothing. See, it's simple. Cause that's and that's all I'm trying to get y'all to see. Like we're our own worst enemy. Like 
most of the problems that you have with your scalp is because you keep putting stuff on it. And when you stop it, it goes away. That's not happened with her hair, though. It changed after her grandma put a perm to a beauty version. <clears throat> Again, just because hair is long does not mean that it's healthy. You can have hair that is 45 inches long that has trichinidosis from the top of the strand to the bottom. So, yeah. <sighs> Love, I, I know that you mean well when you say this, but it's a lot easier said than done because I want you to have the same conversation that I've been having for 15 years and then come back and see and having, say, having the same conversations with the same type of people over and over again and see if whether or not you would deal with it in the same way. It's a lot easier to make comments like that from the outside looking in. And I know that you mean well, but when you live through it and you read a comment like that, it doesn't feel good. <clears throat> so now it's our hair back natural. No problem, baby. Thank you. Thank you. Nobody follows the curl type of chart, but, and the only other women that you see on YouTube that follow the curl type and chart are only doing it in the video on the title to trigger the algorithm. Because y'all are viewers, y'all don't know how this go. Within the first, like, okay, those videos that I made, like, I can't stand twist outs on wash and goes. That triggered the algorithm. Those videos went all the way up. You know why? The people who are like, she doesn't like twist outs and wash and goes, y'all all ran over here. Shot the views through the roof. That's how it works. But y'all believe everything that y'all see. These people are not putting 4C and looking at the curl type and chart and shit because they do it. They do it because it triggers the algorithm. Thank you. That's my pleasure, lovely. What's your race? Thick? I got... <laughs> that's what I'm going to do. Since we making up shit, that's what I'm about to do. Y'all, Andre Walker was Oprah's Winfrey's hairstylist. He made up a whole curl type of chart. I'm going to make up a body chart. So we about to have... We about to have women on the chart. Okay? So instead of numbers... <laughs> Instead of instead of starting at one, we're gonna count by threes. Three, six, nine. Damn she five. That's how it's gonna go. And we're gonna have it A, B, and C too. So we're gonna have three. Three is gonna be the black girls who got little titties, but a big old booty. Okay. <laughs> You're gonna be three, right? And depending on if it's a real big booty, it's gonna be three, three A, three B, three C. That's just going to be, that's going to determine what you, what's your booty size, what your body size is. But if you in the three category though, that means you got little boobies, big butt, right? So <laughs> which one you fit in, girl? Are you 3A, 3B, or 3C? Okay, then we got six, right? So we're going to do six. Six is going to be right in the middle, right? It's going to be where it match. If you six, your, your boobies and your booty, the circumference, it match, right? But it's going to be different sizes. So <laughs> we got 6A. 6A, that's going to be like real big, super size boobs and booty. And then B, you get where I'm going? 6B, it's going to be medium size. And 6, ooh, 6C, that's going to be that super donkey booty. That's going to be 
my Atlanta girls from the down south north. Most likely, you're going to be my six C girls, okay? And now we got our nines. Ooh, girl, them nines is fine. Now, them nines, them nines, they don't even got, they don't got real big boobies. They got about medium-sized titties, but they got real big booty. So that's how it's going to be. We got our 9A, our 9B, and our 9C. You got your 9A girls. They got they they got them, they got a little thing on them. I think I would be in the nine in the nine B. I'm in the nine B. It ain't too big. It ain't too much of a Duncan. No, I'm in the no. I'm I'm sorry. I would be more the six. I'm probably like a six B. Like my, my I think I'm proportion and it's about medium size. It ain't like God damn, but it's like oh a little I got a little weight on it. All right, and then when we got when we got our nine C girls, or oh, our nine C girls, now nah, that's 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 that ass. Then when you in Atlanta, you be like, God damn, God damn. If you make them go, God damn, you a nine girl, you nine C. That sounds stupid as hell, don't it? That's how y'all sound. Y'all about to tell me I sound dumb, but y'all sound smart. Y'all not going to tell me that I sound dumb, but y'all sound smart. No. It's all stupid. It's all equally stupid. It's all equally stupid. I love y'all, but it's all dumb. So if y'all, we're not going to pick and choose what things sound stupid and what things sound smart. That's how y'all sound. And it's ridiculous. Won't you take me to Duncan Town? Sorry, y'all. I was look. I'm looking for something. <sighs> that's why I, everybody who introduced themselves as four C. That's what you got to start doing too. Start walking in rooms. I'm four C, and um, let me get. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm three. I'm three B. I'm three B, and I'm four C. Do that. Like, let's do that. If you, girl, oh, you need you, my love, you, I'm not saying nothing bad about you. this, all I'm going to say, you need to stop internalizing the things that you see online as fact. No, folks that don't want to learn have the right to find different content to consume. Listen, go find your tribe. Go find your tribe, my baby. Go find your tribe because I'm not a part of your tribe, my baby. I'm just not. I'm just not. It don't have to be a board bristle brush. You could just brush it. Just brush it. I, I've never went in a salon. It's like, are these board bristle brushes? That is a YouTube mentality. I love y'all so much. Just go get a brush, man. If you want to get a board bristle brush, go ahead, baby. Just get a brush. I just use a brush. Wooden brushes, bar brush, brushes, brush. Just brush it. Like we, and I'm not talking about you, but just think about how crazy we are. So we want to complicate combs, brushes, but we go in our pantry and put apples in our hair. Come on, bro. Like, just get a brush. Which one of your videos should I watch first? Understanding how to take care of my hair. I'm new to the channel. I recommend you binge watching all of my videos. I have hundreds. I don't know which one to tell you to watch first. Just 
find you a day and go ahead. Not a booty type of chart. Yeah. But, but what's wrong with a booty type of chart if we got a curl type of chart? Black girls got fat asses and some got little booties. And it, it'd be good to help black women identify what type of black woman they are. So that way, the little booty black women won't feel insecure. The booty typing chart will give us sanity. It'll give us strength and unity. <laughs> the booty typing chart will give black women confidence. So the little booty women won't feel so bad. Oh, the little booty women's in the 3B and the 6A and the and the and the 9A categories, they can just group together and wear their little booty pants. And then we could go across all of the different uh clothing stores and say, y'all do not make clothes for black women. We need clothes for 3A, B, and C. We need clothes for 6A, B, and C. And then we need clothes for nine, three. I mean, A, B, and C. Yes, because we want to be seen. And black women are not seen because y'all don't know shit about this little chart that we made the fuck up. Y'all don't see us. That's how stupid y'all sound. That, that sounds so dumb, don't it? Don't it sound dumb? Why do y'all think y'all don't sound equally as stupid with 4C? Y'all, it's the same thing. Should we brush our hair every oh already? Mine is thicker than a snicker. Let's thicker than a snicker. That's how I'm gonna start walking here in the room. Hi guys, my I'm gonna start my video off. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. Make sure you click on that bell notification so you're notified every time I post another video. Today, I if you're new to my channel, my name is Sindal and I am a 6B black girl. Yes. <laughs> yeah, natural. Like, oh, Lord. Special. That's why they be looking at me. I don't know. I don't know. And y'all think y'all sound smart. Y'all taking y'all pride. I'm a, I'm a 4C. My name is. Uh, when I ask, I'm like, okay, well, tell me more about your hair. You be like, well, well, Sin. Most of y'all be like, Sin. Okay, Sin. I have a question. I'm a four C black girl. I'm a four C straight natural. Oh my god. Like, I'm not gonna lie. My brain be wanting to shut down and stop talking to y'all. I'm a four C natural. If you if you can say that to me, why can't I say I'm a <laughs> I'm a 6B black girl, thicker than a Snickers. Yeah. Thicker than a Snickers. Hmm. I'm thicker than cold peanut butter. Yeah. And today, we're going to talk about sebum. Y'all will be like, okay, that was unnecessary. That's how I feel when y'all, like, it's literally the same thing. But y'all like saying it, and it makes you feel strong. So you think you sound smart, but you don't. It makes us all look really stupid. <laughs> yeah, I need y'all, based on the new thick chart that we have, I need everybody to, <laughs> if we, if we're gonna do curl typing chart, everybody put their booty booby chart. What number are you? I'm 6B. Yeah. Cause it's 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 some weight back there. It's it's weight back there, but it's not Atlanta weight. I've been to Atlanta. Those are some asses out there. So I put myself B. Mm -hmm. And remember B. Is when the boobies and the boob are kind of like neck and neck. They're like neck and neck, you know? Yeah. Which one are you, guys? Because we're black women, and they don't make clothes for us. So we have to create our own. Yeah. Where do you guys fall on the booty chart? Because nobody has fat asses but black women. Yeah. 
Where do you guys talk? Hey, bro. Hey, boo. No, I kind of felt their curls were fake. I don't know. My brain just won't let me accept those Asian curls are real. Because they're not. They have perms. Asian hair grows out perfectly straight. And if her hair has a curl pattern, somebody somewhere was dipping in something. Some Mexican. They was dipping in some Mexico. They was they was dipping in some Africa. Somebody was dipping in something. But Asian women have the straightest hair on this planet. And if they have a curl in it, they got a perm. Or somebody was dipping in that El Polo Loco. Or that fried chicken and mashed potatoes. Stop believing what you see online. They do have a booty chart already, see? Girl, I can't. <laughs> I shouldn't have said this. I shouldn't have said this because what if somebody like takes it and like, Stars using it because when you think about it, it's a good ass chart though that I made up on the wheel. But if <laughs> I think you can get a BBL, but I don't think those are safe, so I don't know. I'm gonna try brushing my hair because I get flakes, but I'm not sure if it's because of the sebum buildup. I'm gonna send you um a link. <laughs> you a 6B black girl. Yes, a 6B. She's one of my 6B girls. One of my 6B sisters. Yeah. She's one of my 6B girls. Mm -hmm. And see, this is the thing. Like, the 4A girls, I mean, not even 4A, like, because 5, you know, the 5s, they don't really understand us. They don't get us. Like, it's, 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 we need to stop. Oh, my bad. Thank you for your advice. Keep shouting it from the rooftops if you have to. That's the only way that it's sunk into my head. I use Olaplex and a blow dryer in my hair, et cetera. And it has never felt so soft. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. And this is the thing. That's why I don't give a flying snickerdoodle about whoever's like, she's mean. I don't care. Because the women who it is for will get it. They will grab it. They will take hold. And they will be transformed just like you. And that is all I care about. I don't care nothing about nobody else. So if you want to be in the amen corner and you want to keep walking in the room. And I'm a 4B black girl. And sometimes I poot at night before I fall asleep. <laughs> I poot at night and I'm pissy. Like if you want to keep introducing yourself when you walk through the door like that, then you keep up. Go ahead. Go find your tribe. This is not your tribe. It's not. I do it for you. I do it for women like you who are real enough and hard enough to be able to, well, open enough, I should say, to be able to learn and to look in the mirror and to make adjustments. Hey, Bill. Watch the video I posted yesterday. I never understood the chart. Yes, 6B. My 6B girls in here. Baby, my ass is fat. <laughs> oh, watch my last video. Oh, enjoy the seven day challenge. With the seven day challenge, you know, that's a part of the seven day challenge. I teach them how to increase their sebum. So. Hmm. 
Nope, I'm only getting on my 4C booty the natural way. <laughs> I mean, not see, my brain saw four, even though that's a nine. Nope, I'm only getting my 9C booty the natural way. That's right. Shoot. Thank you for your expertise. I had some bad postpartum hair loss. Uh, the hair loss has filled in, but I'm totally lost on how to repair and style my hair. I'm tired of wearing wigs. Because that's the thing. It's like it's like the Team Natural community. Well, even before Team Natural. Because wigs, the wigs led to Team Natural. Because wigs and frontals and all of that stuff was first. And then it went from wigs and frontals to Team Natural. It was just like the final icing on the cake. You don't, you don't have to do your hair because you got a frontal. But then you can take the frontal off and you can just put products in your hair and walk outside. Like there's no accountability. So one piggybacked off of the other. So I, I encourage everybody to like really just look back online and look at what people were doing to their hair before Team Natural. Before Team Natural, we were roller setting, flexi ride, like all types of stuff. But it's like, if you can't do three styles, women don't know what to do with their hair. If you can't do a twist style, a wash and go, or whatever that very last one was, did just slip my mind, you don't know what to do with your hair. There's nothing to do, like as if the only styles that black women have ever done since the beginning of time is a wash and go, or a twist out. Or a wig. That's what it was. Or a wig. My mom never wore wigs. She never wore twist outs. And she never did wash and goes. My mom got a roller wrap every two weeks. And my mom worked in corporate America. Her hair was always good. So I know that people not going to hear this. But my mama wasn't dusty. My mama had patterns and routines. And because my mama wasn't dusty, I wasn't dusty. My mama also took me to the shop every two weeks. So we weren't sitting in the room and my mama was baking, making rice. My mama, I think my mama thinks that she's aging on the inside. I think she was aging in her past life. My mom makes rice with everything. And she's never once thought, let me put this in your hair. Like. I'm just trying to live my life. I'm just trying to stay sucker free in a world full of lollipops. But I feel like we, everybody is lollipopping around. And it's, 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 it's Tootsie Roll stuff, lollipops. All types of shit. Sam has the gift of educating while keeping it lighthearted, always laughing and learning with you. Thank you. You're welcome. I have to laugh to keep from crying. I'm so serious. Y'all think I'm being funny. I, you want to know what my, one of my pet peeves are? Like outside of work, outside of hair, like just a regular everyday friendship or just in general, like my husband, my kids, anything. I hate repeating myself. I, oh God, like sometimes if I say something to somebody and they say, huh, I'll say never mind. That I don't, I hate repeating myself. I have been saying the same shit for like 15 years. Same shit every day. Same thing every day. Same argument, same back and forth with the same type of women about the same stuff. Same stuff. You do not know what you're talking about. That is not how the black, the team natural community was created. Team natural community was created through products. The very first person who ever gave you team natural anything was giving you a product and had a product line to sell. You are a consumer. You do not know what you are talking about. Thanks for your observation though, but the observation is wrong. But, so you mean to tell me, this is the thing. So if you're saying this, 
you are discrediting and disrespecting every black woman who's ever been in this hair industry that wasn't here before Team Natural came along. You mean to tell me before people start walking around with rice nipple juice in their hair, before people start walking around sleeping in conditioner, before people start putting all of this stuff and doing all of these Team Natural hacks, you mean to tell me there were no black women, no black hairstylists that knew what they was doing? Black women had no styles, no patterns, no routine before the team natural community. Is that what you're saying? That's not true. Black women have, have degressed. Y'all have not went up. Y'all went down. Y'all have not furthered yourself. Y'all went down. And I think that it is disrespectful to our mothers, to our grandmothers, and all of the Black women who laid the groundwork for me to be able to retire from the hair industry at 27 years old and still be able to take care of myself even better than I did then. It is a slap in their face to sit here and say that Team Natural came along because Black women didn't know how to take care of their hair. No, Black Team Natural came along to take Black women's accountability away. Y'all did not start taking care of y'all hair when Team Natural came along. When Team Natural came along, y'all stopped doing y'all hair. What are we talking about? The video that I just posted today was my life in the shop. I had one little girl, mama dropped her off, didn't comb her hair in a week. The next girl, who the woman who was sitting there, and then I had to uh, take them between each other back and forth. She was sitting in my chair, hadn't combed her hair in almost uh, like three, four weeks. Team Natural took away your accountability. Black women have been putting in work. Like that is such a slap in the face to Annie Turnbull. Like really? to Annie Turnbull, Madam C.J. Walker. Are you freaking kidding me? So all of the shit that they did previous means absolutely nothing. Black women didn't have nothing to do with their hair until Team Natural came along. That's BS. Team Natural taught y'all how to be lazy. Lazy Natural. That's what Team Natural taught y'all to do. Y'all had all the tools that y'all needed, but y'all did not take any of them. And the reason y'all jumped on Team Natural is because Team Natural gave you a twist out. They told you all you got to do is wash your hair, put these products in it, and then you don't have to touch your hair again for a month. And the only time you got to touch it is to undo those twists and put that product in there and then twist it back up again and then put a wig on. Or get some product. That's what Team, like, like stop. It's disrespectful. It's disrespectful. It's so disrespectful to the women who came before you. Seriously, Annie Turnbull was one of the first black millionaires on this planet, in, the, in this country. What? Annie Turnbull laid ground for, Annie Turnbull opened a full, like it was a full university. Black women were able to go there and learn everything about the hair shaft from the inside, to, from the inside out. Then she had a full garden on top on the on the roof where they learned about herbalism. Then they had a whole nother part in Andy Turnbull School where they learned how to sew. So they were self-sufficient. What are you talking about? It's disrespectful, man. It's disrespectful. We're we're degressing. We're not upgrading. We're going back. We're not doing moving forward. Y'all saying fuck Annie Turnbull and everything that she did. Fuck Madam C.J. Walker and everything she did. We going to go back to before we even had blow dryers. Let's see what they were doing. Let's stop. Black women have always had the tools, but black women are lazy. And I don't care what any of y'all are talking about. I'm telling you what I know. I did hair for over a decade. And the majority of my clients that came and sat in my chair, the first time anybody touched their hair with a comb was when I did it. And it was the first time in about a month. The reason that it hurts for y'all to comb y'all hair is because y'all don't do it, but once every couple of months or once every couple of weeks. You should not have excruciating pain to comb your, your hair. Let's stop it. It is literally a smack in the face. Like I when I when y'all say that, I can almost feel their fury. Like, oh, so fuck me, huh? Annie Turnbull, look her up. 
it still to this day, there's not a black woman walking the face of this earth who's done what she did. Still today. But we don't know how to take care of our hair. Come on. Yes, a roller wrap, slayed and laid. My mama worked for corporate America. My mother was an accountant for a bankruptcy firm in Detroit, Michigan. And no matter what my mom, how, no matter how my mama worked, her hair when she walked through that door they knew she was a black woman and she did not need to wet her hair and make it curly for people to know that she had pride as a black woman like beef up so that's the only way i can express myself as a black woman to put water in my hair and show y'all that it curl up Yeah, and it's okay to get caught up, but don't stay in it. Don't fight to stay in it. And that's the that's the those are the people that irritate me. Don't fight to stay in it. See the bullshit. Be like, hell no. That's some bullshit. Because guess what? I had to do the same thing too. I didn't learn not to grease the scalp with petroleum and cosmetology school. I learned that after I continued my education. So I had to unlearn stuff too, but I wouldn't have learned shit and I wouldn't be able to change any of the lives that I've changed thus far if I was closed-minded like y'all. Not, if the shoe don't fit, I ain't talking to you. I grew up in the 70s and 80s. We did roller sets. Yes, I was sent to a hairstylist starting at age 12 when I started putting my hands and my hair in college. That's when the problem started. Look, like, what are, thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my soul. Thank you for sharing. And oh my God, if there's any other woman that is within her age group that can share this, please do. Please do. Let's stop acting like black women don't have tools. We have tools. You just want shortcuts. There are no shortcuts. To much is given, much is required. And the more, the more sulfur to sulfur linkages you have within the cortex of your hair shaft, the curlier your hair is. So if you got super curly hair, you got more sulfur to sulfur linkages than everybody on this planet. And there is more required of you. I'll um show you guys in a second before we go. My mom was the same sin. She was a nurse, always had a curly perm. If she found out I was using rice water or apple cider vinegar in my hair, ha, 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 I'm sure. <laughs> At my big age, she would cuss me out with a slipper. And this is the thing. Y'all, we love to be like, God, send me a sign. Send me help. God sends you signs all the time, but you slap them away. So after a while, God's like, okay, well, you figure the shit out on your own since you know everything. Because there have been so many people telling y'all not to do all of the different body listens. Every, for the most part, most people's mamas are still getting their hair done the same way. My husband's auntie is 103 years old and she still is a roller set. Every two weeks, like clockwork. Still got all her hair. And she 103. Yeah, thank you. There's a link in the description box. Thank you. I, I should have known that. I put it there. Yeah, there's a link in the description box if you want to join the challenge. See, I think Black women have been conditioned now to believe you're selling out if you don't wear your hair kinky or curly. Well, that's on Black women. That's on y'all. That's on y'all if y'all feed into that. You a, a sellout to who? A sellout to who? Who got your back? A sellout to who? Who exactly are we selling out to? What What is this community that we have? Like, y'all, don't get me. Don't even get me started. 
grandma taught me to use a, oh, listen, my grandma taught us to brush our hair every night. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> All my life, I prep for some real shit. I'm so sick of being the only one talking. My grandma taught us to brush our hair every night, 50 times in one spot and 50 times in the next spot. And her hair was always thick and beautiful to her passing in her 80s. Ooh. Listen. Listen, she said, we deviated from what we were taught. Her grandma taught her, how long have I been saying this? I'm not telling y'all nothing new. Go back, all the way back, way back, back in the time. Especially if you over, if you over 35, go way back. If you, if you 20, and if you under 30, you ain't going to be able to go back to shit because your whole adult life has been team natural. Go back and remember, what was your grandma doing to your hair? What was your mom? Wasn't nobody rice, nipple, and pickle juice and nothing. And even if she did put oil on your scalp, she was washing your hair with VO5, which is the strongest shit in the world. And it got all of the petroleum out. It shouldn't have been there, but it happened. Girl, girl, yep, I get all the ladies who don't, wait. see, listen, this, ooh, yes, God, I just, this is what I need in my life, I just need my cosmetologist, just don't, 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 don't let me, don't leave me up here by myself, don't leave me up here. By myself, like I'm just, they think I'm making up. See, and you're so smart. I am, I'm is, but I'm not the only cosmetologist who think that. This is the diff The only difference between me and other cosmetologists, they are sick of talking to y'all about the same shit and I got time. I get all of the ladies who don't comb their hair. They're willing to pay me more on top of my premium price to detangle their hair for them. Listen. Stop. Black women, I'm I'm not here for it. I am not about to sit around with y'all and entertain y'all, stroking y'all ego and making y'all feel like y'all are the victim. You are not the victim. You are the main perpetrator. I'm sorry. I love you, but I'm not doing it. The amount of women that I would have be like, I'll pay you extra. I would, after a while, I would say no. Because I don't care how much extra you pay me, I can't I can't create another 45 minutes or another 30 minutes to detangle your hair that hasn't been combed in a month. And then y'all mad that new cosmetologists that watch the stuff that cosmetologists like me and her deal with, they watch the stuff that me and her deal with and they say, uh uh, come with your hair clean and detangle. The reason why the if there are two reasons that cosmetologists are making y'all come with y'all hair clean. One reason is because y'all, some of y'all are nasty. And the only way that they can make sure that they don't have to stay in there detangling matted hair for an hour is if they make sure you do it at home. Or they don't have a license and they're not licensed to shampoo your hair. But a lot of cosmetologists are making y'all come with y'all hair already detangled because that's not their job description. Black women think that it is a part of your job description to detangle matted hair. Do you know that there is no module within the book that teaches you how to detangle hair that hasn't been combed in a month? Because it is not supposed to happen. That's not a thing. It's not supposed to happen. Yes, 
As a future cosmetologist, she is spitting straight facts. It's a lot of clients, black folks, that <laughs> that will come into school talking about they just took, listen, they just took down their braids or their sewings. Listen, when I was in cosmetology school, black women and like black women love, like, why are you talking about black women? Because you're the only ones that do it. You're the only ones that do it. I would, I'm a black woman. I would love to point fingers at Rodriga. I would love to say that Haciendica did it, but she did it. It was Bernicia. And black women come into hair salons. And especially when I was in cosmetology, oh my God, when I was in cosmetology school, black women would take down nasty braids, nasty braids. And then they would be like, I haven't combed my, they wouldn't comb their hair or nothing. They would be taking their hair down in a car. And they'd be like, okay, you detangle it for me. Like, but y'all don't even want to comb your hair. Team natural shit did not come because it's easier. It came because y'all could just put products in your hair and the products will help y'all hair detangle instead of you standing there doing it. Let's not, let's not. Thank you so much. Thank you so, 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 so much to hair therapists for saying that because people think that I'm just an intense person that's mad and no, I'm not. The majority of women who come in to get their hair done are getting their, are getting their hair combed for the first time in about two, three months when the hairstylist does it and refuse to comb their hair themselves at home. So they pay somebody else to comb their hair. Paying somebody else to comb your hair is like paying somebody else to brush your teeth. My mother was a maid and she still fixed up <clears throat> us as she used to call it. Broler said every night she still had pride in her appearance until she died. Same for grandma. And I don't think that any of our grandmas were shamed to be black women because they got roller sets. I don't think my grandmother, either one of my grandmothers were shamed to be black women because they didn't want to wet their hair and walk outside. I don't think anybody, any of our grandmothers were shamed to be black because they didn't call themselves. I'm 4C. Yes, you. we need to start shampooing and conditioning our hair the same way that you wash your ass and put on lotion. I'm sorry. Shampoo and conditioner is to your hair what uh, shower gel and lotion is to your body. If you don't co-wash your ass, don't co-wash your hair. We grew up with that. Crazy though, dirty hair grow. My mom used to tell me that. I'm glad I know better. Yeah. We're lazy with dieting, working out too. We yes, it's just in general. Women will go, people will go to a, a what you call them, a personal trainer and be like, I've been working out with you for three months and I haven't lost no weight. And they'll be like, Have you been sticking to the diet? I mean, no, but I've been working out and then complain about not losing weight when you you get if you work out for four hours and then on your way home from the gym, you go to McDonald's. You wasn't at the gym. The gym didn't count. Right. Black people, you hate yourself and want to look like white women, people say. Listen, weird. Y'all are weirdos. Everybody who says that is a weirdo. Because and only black women say that to each other. All white women don't have straight hair. The women that, when you see a woman of another race walking around and her hair is straight, her hair is, does not look like that naturally. There is only one race of woman on this planet whose hair is naturally straight from wet to dry, and that is an Asian woman. Everybody else is either round brushing with a blow dryer or flat ironing, but they still have hair to their butt. But black women, you don't love your, you don't like yourself. Well, 
when I was in cosmetology school on Wednesdays was this was senior day. And on senior days, they got perms for the low, right? For the low. So on Wednesdays, old with old white women specifically specifically old white women and older asian women will come and when i say older i mean like in their 50s so they've been doing this forever right this this was they would be walking me through it and they would get perms black women get relaxers to go straight women of other races get perms to go curly and on Wednesdays, all I did was perms on white women that wanted curly afros. That is all I did all day. And I, I have never one day of my life, and I'm not saying that it doesn't happen, but I have never experienced a white woman or Asian woman seeing, a, seeing somebody with curly hair and being like, you're not proud to be white. You got curls in your hair. You're not proud to be white. They were like, oh my God, girl, it's so cute. Where did you go? What size perm rods did you use? Oh my God, I used the blue ones and the orange ones. She did stair steps and mixed them. Yeah. It's only black women to be like, you not proud to, you shamed of your 4C hair. That's why you straighten it. Only black women sound that ignorant. They are, you're the only ones that ignorant. Only you. Only you. If the shoe don't fit, don't wear it. I'm not talking to you. But if it fit, take that shit off and get some new shoes. Oh, I'm excited to see it. <laughs> Thank you, babe, for sharing the info. But then only other thing I want to add I'm really not trying to be rude, but I don't know how else to say this because every time I do a live, I always get a whole bunch of people booking consultations or and and will request in a, a consultation. So when you first go on the the appointment that you do, you're not booking an appointment, you're making a request. And then once you make the request, I look at the schedule and see if whether or not it matches. And then we agree on a date. And after we agree on that date, I send out an invoice. My consultations are not free, you guys. I love y'all so much. The only thing that I do for free is make YouTube videos. That's the only thing that I do for free. I really hope that nobody takes offense to that. The only thing that I do for free is make YouTube videos. That is it. I, I will be on live with you for like, it's. we've been on here for two over two hours. So I will sit on here and talk with you for two hours. I make YouTube videos. You make requests. I make a video on it. That's what I do for free. Consultations, I do not do for free, y'all. So if you book the consultation, if you follow the link, what you're going to do is going to prompt you to request a day. Once you request that day, I'm going to look at my schedule and see if it's available. And then I'll go up to contact you back with the date that I have available. Once you confirm that you have that date available, that, that day and that time is good, then I send you an invoice for that appointment. Once you pay the invoice, the appointment is confirmed immediately as long as it's not after midnight, it's confirmed. And then we meet on the scheduled date. But I love y'all so much. And I don't know why I have to say sorry. I hope it's not rude, but like I don't work for free. Y'all don't work for free. I love y'all so much. I do. I I'll talk to y'all right here, but not, that's it, okay? Remember the 100 strokes a day, I love brushing my hair and my grandmother had hair down her back her whole life. And so she, that's what I'm saying, like, go back in the day. Think, go back, like, go on YouTube and Google 100 strokes a day. 50 brushes a day, 50 strokes a day. Like you that's that's what we have stuff to keep up with. Y'all let that stuff go because you're lazy. How can all of the product, all of the patterns that our ancestors have set up for us require you to actually do something? And y'all don't want to do nothing. Your grandma said you need to brush your hair a hundred times in the morning and at night. You don't want to brush your hair once in a month. So 
so we're not going to say that the things haven't been here. They've been here, but people have just been too lazy to follow the things that the women who came before us have been telling us to do. And it's disrespectful and it's a slap in the face to the women that came before me for us to constantly, black women don't have, yes, we do. Yes, we do. Black women don't have shortcuts, but nobody does. Black, as a black woman, you still got it easier than everybody else. You got to set your bond, but your bond can be set and be set for two weeks. Your counterpart, like your, your Caucasian sister or your Asian sister can't do that. She can't wash her hair once every two weeks. She'll have lice. But you can go two weeks. But you want to go so far that like, yeah, I can go two weeks, but I don't even want to. I want to go months. Is a laziness and zero accountability. That is our problem. Not a lack of products because we have more products on the market than we can count. So it's not products. Before, before it was like, okay, black women can't have the healthy hair regimen because they don't have no hair products. So now y'all got hair products. What's the problem now? They don't make products for us. Now they make products specifically for you. Now they make products that are made for you so much that if another person of another race uses it, they'll get a follicle infection. They'll get seborrheic dermatitis if they use your shit on their hair. So now they've given you everything that you've asked for and you still can't get the results. So what is it now? Before it was the products. They don't make no products for black women. You have the products. What is the problem now, sis? It's not a rhetorical question. I need an answer. What is the problem now? Because if the apple cider vinegar worked, they would never make another product after apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar would be enough. You could sustain yourself using nothing but apple cider vinegar. I can have a whole six months where I don't use nothing but Olaplex in my hair and be fine. Can you say the same thing about the products that you use? My cousin stayed putting rice water in her seven-year-old daughter's hair and now she's lost her hair her beautiful long hair and has alopecia at seven years old. And when I make, please, somebody give me a five real quick. If you remember that rice water video. And in the rice water video, when I got called all types of bees and whole, every name that you can imagine, somebody could call somebody. That's what black women call me. When I said that y'all were killing y'all follicles slowly by using rice water. So now all of these years later, y'all women have not only used it on y'all self, y'all have then taken this idiotic mind frame that y'all got from YouTube with women who have no formal education. And you have now put that shit on your children. A cho And this is the, 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 listen to this, listen to me. The human hair growth cycle is only seven years. The human hair growth cycle is seven years. So if you, if your daughter has alopecia, listen, listen, if a seven-year-old has alopecia, that means that since she was a little girl, her mother has been destroying her hair growth cycle. What did I tell you was happening when you used rice water? I told you you were killing your follicle slowly. What did her mother do to her hair by putting rice water in her hair? Killing her follicle slowly. I'm telling you what I know. And my passion comes because it is heartbreaking to see a, a seven-year-old with alopecia because Black women won't stop following Team Natural Hacks. Yes, it's enough to be passionate about, especially when you're putting the idiotic things that you learn on your children. A, a seven-year-old with alopecia, that means your her hair growth cycle has never completed itself. Never. Crazy. Girl, listen. Oh, my God, no. Sorry to hear that. That's her mother's fault. It's her mother's fault. Instead of her mother 
really learning the science of hair, she paid attention to YouTubers. And you you gonna make your daughter a test dummy? No. I had a silk press that lasted four weeks. I haven't touched my hair except to brush and comb. Plan to use Olaplex and Timo. Yes. 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 Just let it. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Yes. And just keep it simple. Just keep it simple. Keep it simple. Her daughter's hair was waist length when her hair was straight. And now she has to wear a seven-year-old with a wig because of rice water. But I'm that guy telling you not to use it. Black, that's what I mean. Black, you but do you see what I mean when I say black women can't play the victim? People like me make it impossible for black women to play the victim because people have been warning you guys for years. But instead of instead of taking the facts on and studying for yourself, you chose to stay in the fits and click up with Team Natural Game. Yeah. And do you do you think that the women who gave their daughters alopecia are making videos on YouTube? Hell no. 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 Because we post what we want you to see. I'm just a different type. I have no, like, I get a boss from HS. I've been married for 15 years. My husband helps me put my Band-Aids on. I'm ashamed. I don't give a shit. Why would I be shamed to post it to the world when the only person whose opinion matters is in the other room in the scene? Call me what you want. My husband's opinion is the only one that matters to me as it pertains to what I look like. So if he has nothing to say, why would I give a shit about what anybody on YouTube? I don't care what none of y'all say. That's why I have no problem showing y'all when I have a boss. But can you say the same thing about others? No, they don't do that. They just be like, big chop, let's start over. They don't say that I'm big chopping because I have weathering. <laughs> VO5, yes, we had that. Yes, yep. VO5 is not a great product. VO5 is able to strip all of the heavy oils and butters that don't belong on the scalp. Yeah, like, hmm. Thanks for the advice and facts. Where do we start correcting ourselves? I've watched a few of your newer videos. Okay, so I recommend going back and watch the majority of my older videos. I have hundreds of videos here. So you just gonna have to get some 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 cookies and stuff. Girl, put me on your TV, just have a binge day. You know how you can binge watch a show, just binge watch my channel. Or you can take the seven day challenge. Those are your options. In the seven day challenge, I take all of everything and I put it together in in seven actionable actionable steps and then you have a group that you can be in and communicate with people and you know share your secrets and like everybody can help each other out and as you move through your journey if you need help if you uh have any mistakes you can ask some questions in a group and stuff like that so yeah i'm pregnant I'm pregnant I, congratulations, but I don't talk to pregnant people. I'm too fertile for that. Y'all stuff be contagious. That's embarrassing. How are Yeah, no, nah, they ain't gonna be free 99. I love y'all, but no. Nah. I used to live by VO5 and hot oil treatments. I know. Most of us did. I did too until I found out what I was doing to my follicle. And you should be getting paid for the YouTubers. <laughs> Your consultation shouldn't be free. Thank you, babe. Are you open to share how much the consultation is? My consultations are $150 an hour. Um, but you can book me through Sizzle. So if you if you add a, people do it all the time. You can add a one on one consultation to your car. After I get to this last comment, I'll show you guys how to do it, and then we are gonna sign off so I can pack these orders. But um, once you like go to book me and add the one on one consultation to your cart, and then go to checkout. And right before you add your card information, don't add your card information, but right before you add your card information, scroll down and click on the button that says sizzle. And you can finance. You can uh, do 
uh, they break it down into four payments or however many payments like is agreed to. They break down the consultation into four payments. So you can do it like that if you need to. Yeah, black people gaslight each other. Yeah, but like I can't be gaslit because I know what I'm talking about. Like people playing in hair. And that's like, it is. I, I can, I'm actually, oh, I can't wait. I like, oh, I don't listen. I never want problems, but if you want problems, I got a pocket full of problems. And I know what I'm talking about. I can't wait. Oh, God, please let one of your team natural people hit me up. Let them hit me up. Come through. What you mean? Come in the comments right now. Come through. Come up on stage. I will ruin you. I will ruin it. Like, what? I, I will pump. Oh my God, I don't even want to say I'm going to punch holes in your theories. I'm going to shred it. L come, let's go. Oh my God, I please. Oh, I'm begging you. Please pull up. Please. Oh my God, please. Oh my God. I will share a link. Oh my God, please. It's never happened. Every live that we're ever in, anytime a team natural, because I'm black and proud, 4C. Every time I ask them to get meet me with a fact, it is silence. Nothing. Nothing. They will never have anything. They never have and they never will because it's all bullshit. Like, I, have, I can't think of a time I've been hung up. I can't think of anything. What? Name a time where somebody asked me a question and be like, see, you wrong because where I haven't been able to counteract and prove my point. It's never happened. And it never will. Because I only open my mouth to speak on things that have been proven. And I sound intense and passionate, hell yeah, because I've been having the same conversation for 15 years. And then people want to argue with you about stuff they know nothing about. And talking to people like this, no, you're wrong because actually that don't work. It doesn't work. I tried it. I've been doing this for over a decade. That does not work. It drives me insane and it stresses me out. And it makes my HS symptoms. I'm not. I'm not going through that. Listen, look. I when we get done here, I want y'all all to go. Uh, type in send out rice water. Just type in send out rice water, and read those comments. I am called every bitch, every, every name you could think of. And they all black women. That's why everybody, why are you always attacking? They, it's not, I didn't get called one bitch by a woman that wasn't, that was outside of my race. It was only my people attacking me for telling y'all not to use rice water because it'll kill the follicle and lead to alopecia. And I was called by every name in the book. The only thing that will cure alopecia is for you to stop the inflammation and stop the thing that triggered it in the first place. Alopecia is the end, right? That is the cause. But before the cause, you first had a trigger. Something offset that, that alopecia. And then after that trigger, you had the inflammation in the follicle that led to the death of the follicle that now gave you alopecia. So before anything could heal anything, you have to first figure out what the trigger is that caused your alopecia in the first place. So what have your practices been? Have you been greasing your scalp? Have you been oiling your scalp? Have you been using apple cider vinegar? Have you been using rice water? Have you been greasing your scalp? Have you been wearing weaves and wigs for too long? Have you been keeping your follicle covered? Have you been using, uh, have you been wearing hairstyles that cause too much tension? Since there's so many different things that could have triggered your alopecia, I cannot answer that question without knowing more about you. Those are the type of questions that you got to answer. You got to get answered via consultation because there's literally no way that I'm going to be able to know. 
what do you hear from most of us? I had a lot of hair when I was young, but my mama did this and that, and it fell out. Listen, mm. girl, it's literally the same shit. And it does end up becoming very frustrating to feel like you in a fucking time warp for a, over a decade. Just imagine for 15 years, hair is weak as when it's wet, hair is weak as when it's wet, hair is weak as when it's wet, hair is weak as when it's wet. Don't detangle your hair wet. Don't detangle your hair wet. Do it with oil. Do it with oil. Do it with oil. No, no, no. That's going to break off your hair. That causes hydro fatigue. Don't wet your hair. No, don't do it. For 15 years. So no, people are not sounding sweet and nice about it now. They either act like me, they don't want to mess with y'all at all anymore, or they adding on a big price so it's worth their while. Though that's what it is. Fallow tree ass teacher oil and rice water. <laughs> hey, see, are tapians okay for here? No, they are not. Tapians, listen to me. Tapians are not new. Tapians have been around longer than I've had a cosmetology license. And I got my cosmetology license when I was 19 and I'm about to be 34. They are not new. They are not for black people. And I don't care what anybody says. And I'll explain why. The reason that tapian hair extensions are not for black people long term is because most black women, I'm going to, okay, before I say this, I'm because I, I like to break it down like this because I don't, I don't want y'all um, taking what I say as face value. So as a black woman or as a woman with naturally curly hair or thick hair, what is the most, one of the most important parts that you straighten? Where, where's the place that you go for sure hit? Is it your ends, your mid shaft or your roots? What's really, really important to you with those edges and stuff? What's most important as a black woman or as a woman with curly hair? Are we more focused on our roots or our ends when it comes to straightening the hair? All right. So with that being said, my next question is when tape-in extensions are applied, what act what where do where are they applied? When tape-in extensions are applied, where are they applied? We just went over roots the first time for where we put the flat iron and like where women with naturally curly hair focus the flat iron most of the time. Okay. Yes. The tape-ins are put in not directly on the... Um, not directly like on the skin, but it's put in at the place that black women straighten their hair the most. So the reason that micro link infusions that are like heat activated and tape in extensions are were not something that ever took off in the black salon is because in the shop, we have to have them close to the root or have the itch close to the root. So am I saying, thank you, babe. Yes. So when we have tape in extensions, am I saying, oh, a black woman should never have them? No, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is it needs not be the thing that you use in replacement of a sew-in. If you are doing tape in extensions because you're like, oh, this is healthier than a sew-in, baby, you are dead wrong. Because over time, those tape ins are going to thin out your hair. Fusions, micro leak fusions, they're cute. And the first three, four, five years you have them, they may be cute. Over time, they are going to thin out your hair. When you when you think about when you get in a hairstyle, you can't just think about 
the style and how the style looks. You have to think about the maintenance, the upkeep, you putting it in a ponytail, the tension, the, the way that you're going to style it. Most black women, when they have, if they have hair extensions, if they sweat, if they work out, if they refresh their hair, the first place that they put in the hot flat iron is at the root. If you have tapey and hair extensions, even though it is it's even though it's a different type of adhesive the adhesive is, is activated and changed and shifted with different heat temperatures so if you straighten your hair and you constantly put in the flat iron at the root where that um where those tapings are eventually it won't be that great and then the second reason to why tapings aren't really the best for curly hair is to be honest is most black women don't follow directions so if if i was i would feel comfortable with all black women having tape is if they follow their cosmetologist directions but you're not going to do that you have to be very very like it's certain products you can't use it's certain things you can't you shouldn't do to your hair and to be honest if you're going to do tape in extensions only your hairstylist should be washing your hair you're going to mess your hair up doing it yourself so, yeah. Yes, just do clippings. Like, what are you? Tapings are not new. Micro links are not new. Tapings, none of these things are new. They was all out when I was in cosmetology school. What? Like, I learned how to do tapings in cosmetology school micro link fusions when I was in cosmetology school but based on the patterns and the routines of my clients they wasn't all they wasn't for everybody and it's not just for race like just like all black women can't wear a silk press all black women can't have their hair straight it's not a thing some black women need roller wraps some black women need flexi rod sets some black women need roller sets it perm rod sets it just depends on your scalp's profile and your hair's profile. But see, the problem is, don't none of y'all know yourselves. So all of y'all look online and y'all see a woman who looks the way that you desire to look and then you follow her. That's what happened. Hey, see, oh, I already got some time. All the all day. All day, baby. Half my ass off. What's the problem now? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, what? What do we have now, sis? Because they did everything. So what do black girls, what do you have to cry about now, sis? You can't cry about them not making products for you because they've already made products. I'm, I'm not even starting my hair product line again because there are so many products on the market. Y'all have, they, they've created more than enough products for you. They even created a dumb language that y'all grew with. Like, what more? What else do you want? What else? What more do you want from me? I love you. I love all my gurus in the challenge. It's so simplistic. Y'all make it so easy. Oh, my God. Oh my God, I'm fertile too. Yeah, I'm the girl. No, my husband, look at me. I'm I'm almost pregnant. Lord, don't even, girl. And let me tell you something. Ain't nobody else coming through this uterus of mine. Do you understand me? I'm about to donate mine to science. All of these, I'm a real girl. You, you want this uterus? You want this hot uterus? Shit. Yes. When you use Olaplex, right, baby? I love you, kitty cat is life. My hair experience the opposite than most. I was bald as a little girl. <laughs> My mom hides the pig of me when I was five. I swear I had. <laughs> I was actually doing my mom's hair, but when I was twelve. I've had a passion for styling here since I was seven or eight. Yeah, and the thing is, there's nothing wrong with that. That's how, like, for me, that's how it started for me. Like, just being super passionate about hair. But then let that passion lead you to learning more. 
love the thing that you do so much that you know every part of it so that way you're not causing issues and flaws in it like learn really really learn about it i'm sorry you were treated that way for wanting to help us thank you for continuing to spite it's okay thank you Oh my God, actually, the reason why I steer clear of rice water sand, I used it once on me and my daughter's hair. She was the preteen with pretty good results, but still stopped. And the thing is, everybody gets good results at first. Everything works until it does it. Just like the little girl that she shared earlier that's now seven years old with alopecia. Her hair didn't start breaking off at first. At first, it looked amazing. Her mama used it for so long. But hair weathering is a silent killer. It's quiet. It ain't coming like, duck, I'm shooting duck. You about to be bald head and be like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, put it on there with your funky ass. Go ahead. Yeah, that's what happens. And then y'all be like, I feel good. My hair look good. I've been doing this for three years and look at me. It's like hair weather. It takes six months to 25 years to set in. Holla at me in 10 years, sis. Let's talk in 10 years. I'll never delete these videos. Come back and watch them. Hopefully it won't be too late then. Um, I used to harass my mom about that picture while she hit it. I became obsessed with her hair. Yes. That's so funny, though. Listen, I got a hot and ready uterus. You won't. Hey, I'm getting it. Shit. I'm, Y'all think I'm playing. Somebody, you know. <laughs> if you know anywhere, anybody in the comments. Or anybody anywhere that wanted that need a uterus. Oh my God. Like I swear to man. Take it. Lord, take this bitter cup from my hand, Lord. <laughs> That's why I'm sorry if I offended anybody who is like trying to get pregnant or something, but god damn it, I have done my duty to the world. I have been fruitful and I have multiplied. My kids don't want me to bring no more kids in this house. My dog don't want no more kids in this house. My husband for damn sure don't want none. And me, girl, girl, let's send me, listen, listen, you email me, you tell me how to, I, God damn it, let me find out that you can have a at home ovary and uterus extraction kit i will send you get an egg you get an egg you get an egg you get an egg and you get an egg and you girl i will pass i god damn it i won't even charge off for shipping hmm. you hear me i wouldn't even charge you for shipping send these eggs out american is for oh no that's a credit card ups overnight fedex hmm. you want eggs Double eggs, girl. And I'm, my kids is cute too, girl. Listen, that's why I'm not. Don't get, don't get mad at me. But when I see women that be going to the sperm banks and stuff and be, I'm like, why? Stop! No, what are you doing? No, oh, it's like watching a horror film. No. Wait, no. But like I said, before we go, if there's any, I'm about to share um, my Instagram channel so y'all can see how to book me for one-on-one and how to book the seven-day challenge. But girl, if any of y'all know of any uterus donation places that I can go to and, and, and give uterus or places where, because I know you can go and you can donate a couple eggs. No, I won't take all these eggs. I'm take all these eggs. Take all these eggs. Okay, take all of my eggs. Hold on. I'm 
I'm going to share the screen. Y'all think I'm playing. Y'all think I'm playing. I'm dead ass serious. If you figure out where to send the eggs, tell me where to send the eggs. Hey, D, Rodriguez, you know where to send the eggs, girl. Why you saying hello? You know where to send the eggs. Hmm. Do you know where to send the eggs? Do you? Okay. Sorry. Okay. <clears throat> we about to go. Um. Hold on. Take a picture. Remember, they didn't love. Hold on, baby. Mm. Who let these hoes in my room? Why'd you let them in? Come on, bro. Hold on, y'all. Give me a second. My computer. He's on that bullshit, yeah, yeah. He's on that All right. Let me tell you something. I'm gonna send. I'm gonna send them to some heads. Let me find out something. <laughs> Let me, I, girl. I'm. 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 Hey, now. Nah. Now. Nah. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm, they ain't being fertilized. No, I am joking as it pertains to that because the reason that I'm not on birth control, Lord, and the reason that I haven't got my tubes tied, the reason that I haven't got my uterus removed is because and even with me uh, dealing with HS, dealing with hydronidus superativa, I just don't want to take anything out of my body. Like, like with HS, they don't know the cause of it, and all of the treatments are experimental. So I would imagine that the sweat glands in my body are for something. So I don't want to remove them and then find out, like, oh, shit, I did need those. And the same thing for my uterus and stuff. So I am joking. I am joking. Um that's why my tubes aren't tied because I just, and my husband, he don't want to get fixed either. So we just got to own stock in plan B, basically. Um, <clears throat> anyway, that was CMI. Um, so seven day hair growth challenge. Once you are over here on my website, right? It is right here. You can literally just click the button. And it takes you straight over to the seven day challenge. It explains uh, everything that's within there. And there's even a six minute video explaining things to you. Hello, I'm Sendal and welcome inside the seven day hair growth challenge. If you're here, you're interested in learning more about the seven day hair growth challenge and what it can do for you. So let me explain a little. Over a seven day period, you will have access to over two hours of content that will give you a step Step by step break. Okay, so if you want to listen more of it, if you want to learn more about the seven day challenge or watch the full six minute video, you can. And it's there, it explains everything that you get in the seven day challenge. Here are a couple of reviews, and then there are um, a few pictures and things of that nature from people who have already taken the challenge, their reviews, and things of that nature, right? So you can read through everything. Thing. Look at the testimonials and stuff, and then you just click on the button that says "Get Started." The fun thing about it is, it tells you exactly how many people are active 
as you're joining. So right now there are currently 342 people live doing the challenge with you right now. So if you join right now, there are 342 people in the challenge, like starting a new journey right along with you. So you're not doing it by yourself, right? You just click the button that says join. And then once you do that, you go ahead and put in all of your information, right? It is going to take you to a payment page. <clears throat> now, this is the thing that a lot of people mess up with. And then they'll end up contacting me like, oh, what's my password? I do not know your password. So you have to create a profile. So create a profile. The password that you make, please, I am begging you, write it down. I do not have your password because if I had your password, I would have access to your other information and I do not. Right. So you sign up and then once you do all of this, then the next thing is going to do is take you to the page where you can input like all of your payment information and all of that. But if you want to finance it, don't put in your payment information. Just scroll down a little bit until you see the um, the button that says sizzle. Click on that button and then it'll take you over to sizzle and you can finance the seven day challenge, right? So that is how you take the seven day challenge. But then if you want to book a one-on-one -on -one consultation with me right now, we are back on the homepage. You are going to go over here and right where it says more the very second one says book season, right? So it breaks everything down. I do scalp and hair consultations and business consultations. And so you just click right here. You request to book an appointment. And then once you request to book the appointment, um, remember you're checking availability. Once you check the availability, your appointment is not confirmed until the, uh, the consultation fee is paid, right? So you would go ahead and request a date, right? So right now it's showing that on this, on two day, two times available, right? And actually only one of those is available. But anyway, you would like go ahead and you will request a time, right? So you could click three o'clock and then you could request to book. And then at that point, it's just going to have you follow certain promptings, right? Put in your payment info, well, putting in your information like your name and your phone number and then any message that you want to send to me. And then once you put in request to book, that's when I'll get it. I'll send you over an email um, confirming whether or not, you know, that day and time works. Once we set on a day, then I send you over an invoice you uh, pay that invoice and then automatically the appointment is confirmed and it's like automatic. Automatically you go ahead and you're going to um, get an email to whatever email address that you put in and you'll get the, like I said, you'll get the notification and um, it'll send you our virtual booking link and then we'll meet up on that day. All right. So I really hope that that answers your question. If you want to shop my teas within the apothecary, like after home, you click up here where it says simple apothecary. You can type in and just check out our herbs, our abstracts, our tinctures, the body bar, where it's like all of the body care, the soaps and stuff, the crystal bar, scalp bar, mugs, and so much more, right? So this is what things are looking like. Again, you can just pick the part that works the best for you. I have a lot more videos coming here on my apothecary, but I just wanted to break down the science of hair a little bit more before I went into that because that could be really confusing for people if I'm just like, oh, use this tea because I just don't want y'all to replace products with teas. I need y'all to understand the human body and the way the human body works. And by you guys understanding the human body and the way the human body works, then you know which one of my teas you can or cannot purchase, right? Which ones work the best for you. So I love you guys. I really hope that this all makes sense. I hope that today I was able to answer the majority of your questions. All right. I don't know why that's looking like that and where the heck my picture went. But um, I really do want you guys to get in the mode of making sure that you're able to like fact check things. And when I say fact check, you don't have to sign on to somebody and say, uh-uh, this not true because no, no, no. Just see their video and then take your notes and keep on. Like go in and check your notes for yourself. And then you can see mm, this person is kind of making up stuff. I'm going to go. And look for somebody else whose things align more with where I met, just like 
all of the grandkids and all my rice nipple juice people and all of y'all. I am not your tribe. And I'm not about to uh, try to get you to stop using your rice nipple juice. Use it. Just don't come over here with the rice nipple bullshit. Because I'm going to block you and send you back to your mama. Hmm? Okay. So, thank you, Sin. It's my pleasure. I would definitely go for the seven-day challenge for the appointment. I have to check. <laughs> no problem, babe. It's my pleasure. I love you guys so much. I love like the new energy on my channel. Mm -hmm. All right, I love you guys. I will see you later. Check the description box for everything that I showed you in this video, okay?